Welcome to Collider Live. Bienvenidos al programa más raro en YouTube. I'm your host, Dorina. Dorina, for those who can do cool, weird stuff with your tongue. <laughs> I had a weird, strange run-in with real-life naked Dr. Manhattan last night that I'm going to tell you about. Oh. We have a lot of stuff to talk about today. Flash, Keanu, weird Baby Yoda memes to join me. Mark Riley. What? Producer. Yes, I know. What? I know. It's what? I know so many weird things that happen. <laughs> All right. Well, that this we have is to talk about. My kind of fucking show today. Right? <laughs> Hi. How you doing, Mark? I'm doing I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> and also joining us one of my favorites, mi, fa mi favorito, John Roca. Hello, no es mío. Hello everyone. How are you? I'm excited. Hey everyone, We're this is John Roca. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, I hate you. <laughs> and last but not least, my two favorite boys in the booth, Cody Hall and Alex Marzonia. How are you guys doing? Great. I think I'm great. How are you, Cody? Apparently not as good as you. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh sassy Cody. Sassy here. Cody, man, always it's coming in on Thursdays and Fridays, ready to fart on my Batman Returns love. <laughs> oh, Cody. <laughs> There he is again. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna fight about this one day, Cody. It's gonna happen. But how are you guys doing? I'm Almost good. done. Yeah. John, you've been here. This is the third time you're on this week. This I is know. great. I'm very happy. Thank you so much for having me on so much this week. I've been enjoying it. We yeah, love you. You're you. great. It's been here, great. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I love being with you guys. Aww. Honestly, we yeah. love being with you too. And Thank hearing you. your weird any any weird uh, girlfriend stories last night. Did you, last propo did you propose again? No, no, no. Like, were I... you in the bathroom and you just like, hey, <laughs> you want to marry me? Did it, did, did you see in the rundown what I did? Just yell out. Oh. Some banter. Maybe some more wedding stories. <laughs> there you go. Or stories about proposing during a Taco Bell commercial. <laughs> oh, my God. That's amazing, Mark. Has that happened? Yeah. I, I, I put, you should add more of that stuff on our... On, so, we can actually, so we actually read these. Yeah. I put, yeah. I put, I put, I put secret messages in, in the outline every day. There's Easter yeah, eggs all there's over There's one of thing. them. Well, see, that's what happens. You should be like, fuck you guys. We're not reading this. Yeah. <laughs> F you. You motherfucker. <laughs> Some compromising oh picture. <laughs> yeah. You're you guys, never going to see this. I yeah. have the yeah. weirdest story. Yeah, what the hell? You. Please go. Don't worry so, about me. I'll start with you. So if you guys don't know, um, I have a lot of jobs. And one of them is I'm an artist manager. And uh, mm. I manage this amazing uh, stand-up bass player called George uh, Stijapovic. Uh, he's uh, at Bullfiddle Cat, if you guys want to check him out, and on uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and all the things. Mm -hmm. And we were shooting a video with him in the Venice Canals area, right? Like, you guys this have been there. This is last night? Yes, yes. Beautiful, wow. beautiful place. You, you don't know. stop, huh? You just no. Keep, you just keep Look at no, this. I work all the time. It's I don't incredible. sleep. Yeah. I don't sleep. I'm like, yeah. the, yesterday was tired. busy here. I know. We were no. like, both and then like I six worked till going... And then I worked to 11. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. <sighs> but anyways, Jesus, I'm yeah. so tired, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> However, so we're shooting the video, and this guy is just kind of hanging out there, like kind of like a, like a hot black guy who's just like chilling mm. next to us, like watching us, right? Like okay. watching my client play. And all of a sudden, he stands in front of me while we're not not in front of me between me and my artist yeah. while we're shooting him right while okay. we're, sh we're, we're shooting his, video does he have his back to you or front to no, you no no he literally stands in the middle of our shoot that's what i mean like is he standing in like... front of the camera okay okay, okay. oh wow Yikes. he starts taking his clothes off mm -hmm. as one does all of them this is venice literally he exactly yep. it's, a, it's a total venice, venice story yep. he takes yeah. off his hoodie his shirt his pants no underwear was yeah. being worn okay yep. and and so literally dr manhattan literally yeah. and he it, yeah, and the the dong was the same wow. but um That's... yeah i mean i had to look he, he made me look but he literally he got, a he's, dong take <laughs> exactly <laughs> but he stripped completely naked looked at all of us and took off running and left all his shit in the middle. Wow. So I just yelled, hey, Dr. Manhattan, come back. That was, <laughs> it was, it was the weirdest thing, but it's also such a perfect Venice story. Did right. he then like spray himself with something and slide into a sewer? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and you can combine the two characters and we have Watchmen in real life. I don't know what happened. It was I so bizarre. This. We all just kind of like, hey man, you okay? <laughs> What's going on? Did he, so he never came back? No. For no, his he stuff. just took off. He just took off. Yeah, we, we continued the shoot. Wow. Yeah. I want to be in that mind frame. Mm. Like, what is he thinking at that no. moment? He's like, you know what? This is beautiful music. Time to get naked. Exactly. Right. And run a marathon. And right. Go. And then take off. But My you know God. what? Yeah. He didn't hurt anyone. No, he didn't. He just wanted to run around naked yeah. in the cold. So he may, he may have ruined the take. 
But right. other than that, he was fine. <laughs> exactly. He didn't, he didn't mess with anybody. Bluebirds. Did <laughs> Flo, exactly. Yeah, bluebirds. Flo what would you guys with the do, music though? And inspired and was gone. What would you do in that situation? I would just go, that's what I get for Venice at 11 p.m. Yeah. I, it'd be like, well, here we are in Venice. Yeah. That's so weird. Cody, Alex, have you guys ever had anything happen like that to you? Uh, like, I just tried to do it right now. Oh. <laughs> well, well, looks Alex, like our uh, views are going up. Alex stopped me from stripping. Man, the, <laughs> were you cutting to the booth and you were getting naked in there? <laughs> It'd be funny if I didn't cut to it and I just started doing uh, it without being on camera. Oh my god. Alex, why'd you stop him? No, I'm kidding. It's a family Sorry. show. It's a fucking Captain. family show. I would love Captain it if it just had Alex. just the angels. Although Cody would take everything off except the angels hat. He would Absolutely. keep the angels hat It's on. a big day, guys. Yeah. Anthony Rendon, seven oh years. Oh Come boy. on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Anybody else know what we want to talk about? You know what's cooler futility. than baseball, Cody? What? What? Batman Damn. Returns. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 Hit that fart sound. Yeah. There, yeah. It <laughs> there it is. There it is. So it is. So what did you do with the clothes? Did you just leave no, it No, we just, we didn't want to touch his stuff. I mean, it's Fair his, enough. we, we, you know, he, like I said, he didn't touch or hurt anyone. Yeah. He just wanted to run around naked. So we left his stuff there. So for, good like, looking dude in shape. Yep. Right? Abs? I thought it was real life Dr. Manhattan. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I love that he just stripped naked, and all of us were just like, <laughs> we're like, yeah. that's his penis. Wow. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, so, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, wow. so, so you work hard, you get something harder later. <laughs> <Hey> <laughs> there you go. Maybe he was late for another Boom. shoot. Anyway. He was late for another shoot. That's why he was running. Yeah, so looking. maybe that's how you need to propose to your girlfriend. <laughs> You're right. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you marry me. Take your pants. Uh, it's running. beautiful here in Venice, isn't it? You know, I have a story here. <laughs> <laughs> Just have the ring like hanging off my. <laughs> Whoa. Nope. nope. Family I show. mean, they do have those. I Thursday. know they do. Yeah, at the sex store. I have a membership. Knock yourself if you, out. If you need, like, I'll take you if you need to buy do you, some. Do you want to see John Rogo turn the reddest and start acting like an idiot? Is Definitely. take me into a sex store. Really? I get so shy, so uncomfortable. I turn into a ball of, like, mess. I'm just a mess. Because uh, I'll be like, ow, oh, ow. Oh. Alex is looking up sex stores near no. me. No. Uh, the Wait, one on though? Santa Monica Boulevard. I, 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 what, video we can do. I, I just have a thing about. It. I'm like, Ugh, what? What oh, makes ah. you uncomfortable? Is it the fact that we were all raised to think sex is bad? Yeah, or? I think it's part of it, but also like, I would never think to put something through my penis or the head yeah. of my penis. Yeah. Or, but don't knock you know, until you try it. Well, John. I, I don't want to try it. <laughs> I think I'm past that age where I would try it. No, never you say think? that. All right. Yeah, never fair. too young to try new fair. fun things, but, especially yeah. in bed. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. that that's fine, but piercing the penis? Thing, is that what you're talking no, about? No, 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 like a cock ring. Oh. Isn't that what you were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about rings. <laughs> Guys, congratulations. It truly is Thursday Thursday Hell. here. <laughs> <laughs> at Collider Live. Thursday, Thursday. Wait, so you guys never shop at sex stores? Cody, Alex, nope. No, I have. Can't yeah. say I have. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's kind of fun to go okay. with your significant other. It's super fun. You yeah. get to see, oh, I didn't know this existed. Let's try it on each other. <sighs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Just, maybe that's how you propose is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Just pull out the box. Yeah. Oh, that's always the scary moment when they pull out the box and you look inside and you're like, "Whoa!" And they just start. What have you been out. doing in your past? Whips, yeah. handcuffs, the anal beads, dildo, yeah. cock yeah. ring. Vibrators, what else is there? Vibrators. Yeah, yeah, there handcuffs. I, My God! Whoa! The swing. chat's blowing up. Oh, the sex okay. swing. <laughs> look at that. Whoa! Did you what say a family blow? show? What a family show! Uh, yeah. sex this swing. is not that's a kids right, show. That's right, Rebel people. Five. <laughs> this is not a kids show. But no, John, if you're if you're nervous, I'll take you. I'll take you shopping. Yeah. Okay, so I have a new segment idea. Okay. Oh, perfect. <laughs> what is it's it? It's taking John Roca <laughs> Yay! to a sec. Ooh. This is perfect. Okay, great. I'm going to take you guys all shopping. Who's coming to karaoke tomorrow, by the way? We, for those of you that don't know, we are doing mm. Collider Karaoke tomorrow night. Yeah. I'm Mark there. Riley? Yeah. John Roca's not going to be there. I know. I would totally go because I love karaoke. I do it every year for my birthday. I know. Um, but unfortunately, we are going out of town uh, to celebrate my girlfriend's mother's 70th birthday party. We're going to Stockton, which apparently is the murder capital. Capital of California. Oh, Ooh. Stockton. So I'm yeah. a little scared. Yeah. Josh McCooke gave me this face when I told him Stockton a couple of weeks ago we were making the plans. He goes, Yeah. <laughs> he 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 blew through Dude. there for for something he was doing. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he did. And I was like, that scares me. Because if McCooga's scared, I need to be scared. I mean, I was just in New Orleans recently and they said I mean, it was dangerous, so <laughs> But then there was a shooting later, so never mind. Yeah, see? Yeah. I don't want to get shot. I'm not going out after after dark. I get it. Well, then just go yeah. to the sex store and you won't get shot there. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine the sex store in Stockton. Mm, I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Wait, Cody, Alex, you guys coming to karaoke tomorrow? 
Uh, Alex is. Allie, yeah, I am. Nice. I don't. I uh, don't believe I can. Yeah. 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 Daddy duty. Yeah. Like it, it's kind of a bad look. But I'm like, hey, babe, I'm gonna go uh, karaoke for a few hours while you're stuck at home Aww. with the baby. You, yeah. could, you could bring them. Bring the baby. Yeah. Yeah. Have him do a couple songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I think he'd be a good singer. You're a good singer. Yeah, he could rock some death metal. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Could you imagine like the little squirming. babies? Like, little ba- yeah, the little baby fingers. Like, oh, my God. I'm exactly. sorry. Your kid is going to be anti all of that. I hate to break it to you. No, I don't like death metal. Oh, all. okay, okay. I'm just saying because he's screaming. Yeah. Oh, right. Did you see the joke? I Wait, did. why oh, is he gonna? Is. Why is Baby Grant gonna be against metal? Because it's always the way it goes. Like you think your child's gonna be into this stuff you're into, and then they grow, and they're like a totally anti everything you're into. Oh, that's yeah. That's usually the way it goes. Well, that's, that's usually that's a phase too. Isn't right. It? Sometimes, yeah. yeah like yeah. a rebe- rebellion type. Mm-hmm. Like he'll be all into classical music and proper English novels and stuff. And Cody's gonna be so frustrated he can't share his ninety grunge songs <laughs> with his kid. Cody, what's something that you just will not be okay if your son likes? Country music. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree with that. Without <laughs> missing a beat, yeah. you had that one queued oh, up. Yeah. He is going to love country music. Yeah, that I'm is the thing right that, that my parents tried to get me to listen to, and I couldn't stand it at all. It's <laughs> yeah. the worst. It is the worst. Absolute I'm sorry. Worst. I mean, no, actually, to be fair, there is good country music. There out is. There. It's just that the sure, stuff that you hear music. on the radio, I am not into. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I listen to country, but certain artists and certain yeah. songs. Mm. Like Dolly Parton is great. Dolly Parton right? is great. Yeah. Are you kidding Johnny Cash. Yeah, of course. Johnny Cash. Yeah, uh, even the like. Sort I of, like Garth Brooks, man. Are you kidding me? Some yeah. old Garth Brooks, sure, sure. freaking a man. I just don't he like rocks. the new the stuff that's just like, oh, I cheated on my boyfriend and then I pooped in the pickup truck. I just I can't with those lyrics. Wow, it's I couldn't song, either. Right? Don't yeah. recall that song, but okay. It's called Pooping in the pi- poop, Pickup. Yeah. Pick it's the Poop in the Pickup. Yeah. Is, uh, <laughs> it's Bo Seep's Yeah, see, Alex is looking it up yeah. for us again. Yeah, yeah, it'll come up. Yeah, there, there you it go. is. Woman, woman refuses to pick up the dog poop. Yep. That's oh probably boy. Roxy's neighbor. Isn't it? Wow. Um, <laughs> Cody, you sit on down here and you listen to Randy Travis. You like him. Exactly. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about but I, uh, today, Mark. Yeah, but, we do. But I wanted to start with Alex because he is the biggest fan of the In the Heights trailer. Oh, yeah. Correct? Hell yeah, I am. Are you super excited? I am so excited for this movie. Um, the trailer got me super excited. It's my favorite musical ever. Uh, it's because when I was uh, a teenager, uh, my parents took me to see it, and I was expecting like a regular Broadway, you know, s- um, old song and dance. But then there was like the use of hip hop, salsa, R and B in it, and uh, it made me fall in love with Broadway in general and why I love uh, musicals and stuff. That was but- adorable. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dad, Cody. Oh man, I'm so proud of him. <laughs> Are you guys excited for it? Did you guys see the trailer? I yes. saw the trailer and I loved it. I loved it. Uh, unlike John here. Oh, no, you guys take it. You guys take yeah. it. Yeah. But no, I it. thought it was great. I mean, look, I am always happy when a movie musical uses a cast that can sing. Yes. <laughs> That's oh, yes. actually exciting to me. Russell Crowe. <laughs> 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 That's a very good That's point. A very fair point, Mark. Now, John, at last no. we see each other play. No, like Put that's... down that bread. Yeah. Put down that bread. <laughs> What's that song? Stars, that beautiful song in Les Mis. That... The <sighs> most beautiful. I know. There, out in the darkness. Mm. And no, he couldn't. He no. couldn't hit it. He's a good actor, but just like oh. they should not sing the Broadway stuff. Well, they the, can't do it. He has a band. That's the yeah, irony. I know. He's yeah, the lead singer of a band. But it's different but to it's, sing it's, rock yeah, than to sing different. Broadway. Of like if you're classically trained in like Broadway, that's different. Yeah, right? Madonna will show you that in Evita. Woof. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, she's bad in that film. Is really? she? You know, like oh, you know, like terrible in Evita. Like <laughs> terrible, <laughs> really? Yeah. I thought she was great in Dick Tracy. She's limited in terms of singing. Yeah, because she's singing like... She sings, Like the 1940s stuff. That's easy, but you need pipes to sing Evita. But she wasn't a bad actress. No. uh, mm, Oh, mm, oh, oh, I guess we're getting into it. I think she's only been good in two things. Which one? Desperately Seeking Susan Uh and League of Their Own. I love that movie. I love both of those movies. And Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy, she's great in Dick Tracy. She's good in Dick Tracy. What what other movies was she in? I don't know. She did that, that... yeah, Sean Penn movie. Yeah, what was yeah. That? And then she did that uh, swept away movie with Guy Ritchie directed her in the yeah. remake. Yeah. And then she did that film with uh, Harvey Keitel. Or no, uh, Willem Dafoe. That weird one where she's Willie like, Def. Yeah. It was no, like, that's oh, that's his name. That's Willie his name. No, she yeah. did that one like where she's like convicted. She's like a possible killer, kind of like okay. a Basic Instinct type of film. I can't remember what the name of it is. Uh, yeah. Wally. Yeah, Wally. Definitely Wally. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but Mark, you like this trailer, right? I really like this trailer. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of uh, Hamilton. Uh, Lynn Manuel Miranda is one of the best people. 
people. Yeah. Do you see his Twitter? Yeah. He's, he's just cool. the nicest guy. He's, yeah. he's just really like nice. so positive. Yeah. So for this, and I know this came, this is, you can see the the uh, the seeds of Hamilton yeah. in this because I know this was one of his first um, musicals. And so for it to finally get the big screen treatment, it looks fantastic. It looks like one of those movies that just, you're just going to be like clapping along, singing along if you know the music. I know Alex will. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it looks great. I mean, I'm going to go see it. I'm also going to go see Cats, even though it's for different reasons. <laughs> So, how'd you like that sound by Cody? I like the Star Wars. I, I got into the earlier screening for okay. Star Wars. Yeah. We did. Yeah, we got the early so one. So I'm week. gonna oh, go see good Cats. Good for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna see Cats that night. Wait, so this I want to see be Cats. A very interesting. Do you want to be on my plus one? Like yeah. for real? When is it? It's that night. It's the 17th next week. Is that Tuesday? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Drop drop some acid. But it's also in the 1917 FYC Collider screening. Is that? Tuesday? Yeah, I think oh, so. So I want to okay. see both of them. I yeah. haven't seen that. You saw I've, 1917. I did. I loved it. It's great. It's my favorite film of And the it's year. on IMAX. It is on IMAX. So I want to see that. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to Damn see it. that. Damn it. Oh, well. I got to see Cats. I have to. I have to see the debacle. Me too. I, I'll bring the edibles. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you into that? I would totally do edibles. I love okay. edibles. Okay. I can't do the regular stuff. Edibles are fine. What's the regular stuff? Like the smoking and the thing. My lungs are so bad all oh, the time. Oh, me too. Yeah, 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 I can't swing like that. Okay, so in the night, so here's what I'll say. I thought the trailer was beautiful. Mm -hmm. The music is great. Um, but I am not a fan of the Miranda style. And nothing against Lin-Manuel Miranda. I think he's incredibly talented, obviously uber successful. Just crossed three million followers on Twitter. That's insane. And I'm always going to support a Latino getting a chance to be in a mainstream movie, to highlight a mainstream movie. And you're right, Darina, for once, they cast all these people that can actually sing. <laughs> Jimmy oh. Smith, man. Jimmy Smith. Yeah. Is, I always love Jimmy Smith in anything. So, But seeing, like, that's a good thing because sometimes you see these other musicals where they cast actors that try, they have to train to sing. Like Emma Watson as Belle? Yeah. And yeah. that or, was auto-tuned the crap out of that? Yeah, yeah. I'd even throw Zellweger in in Chicago. I didn't, right. I thought she was good. She wasn't great. That but role deserves something great. But at least so, they didn't like over-auto-tune that. They didn't, yeah. right? Or Nicole Kidman in Moulin Rouge. Woof. Uh, yeah. I did not whoa, like her. Whoa, whoa. I disagree whoa, with whoa, that. Easy. But you don't like, yeah. we're going to get into a Moulin Rouge fight. Okay. Did you, okay. Because I love What about Ewan McGregor? It. Ewan McGregor's great in Moulin Rouge. Fantastic. I think he can actually, I think Nicole was struggling for some of the notes. But here's the thing. I'd rather, I thought what, Nic what Nicole did with her voice is actually uh, a little bit more organic because mm. you didn't hear the auto to the overproduced stuff. So That's I thought it. Point. Yes, she's not. She's not like Ian McGregor, and she's not a classically uh, trained Broadway singer. Right. But at least she was singing. You could hear her voice that it sounded pretty. Victoria Whereas if you voice. hear all these Disney musicals, like the live action ones, they sound bad because of the production. Okay. Yeah. Fair. All right. Fair. I'm just saying. But I, again, I, I think this looks great. It's going to be fun. I'll probably go see it. I hope right. I like it. But the the talking rap type stuff. It's just really not my jam. The I love talking rap. I mean, I love rap, but <laughs> right, the talking, right. like, you know, deaf, deaf poetry jam stuff, it's just okay. really not my jam. I mm. get it. Mm. I, I like it. I love I like Hamilton. It. Yeah. But I got to see it live with, like, the most amazing cast, so. Yeah. Alex, where, where you have you, something to say? Yeah, Alex. Get him. Get him. Get him. Finish him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> John, like, you don't like witty, witty lyrics? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, he likes The Greatest Showman, Alex. That's that super witty. Also. Yeah, he does. Oh, sure. God damn it. Yeah, Is that yeah, cross? Yeah. Sorry, Are those lyrics good. witty? Is that what you would say? No. Okay. Can't do that one. No. This is me. But, uh, like, no, great. Oh, amendment. good for you. This is me. Senator Johnson, the First Amendment. Got a First Amendment. It's better. Free the slaves. That's yeah. better than This Is Me. Yeah, all right. Leave that to the professionals. <laughs> Frisky uh, rally. Yeah, no, anyway. I'm in quite the mood today because you know, continuing the the the. the, the, the what is it? The thousand year war that I'm having with the printer out here? <laughs> oh my God, this Mark Riley printer. This is Office Space, the sequel. Exactly. This is, I'm this is like Space. We, that's a segment right there. Yeah. Mark Riley against our our it, printer. This, this printer. When I, when I tell you that the printer, when I hit the print button and I actually see a middle finger come out of my computer, <laughs> I am not lying. This printer goes, huh? Yeah, go fuck yourself, dude. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, but I just, I just want to, like, I'll go. Okay, I gotta go across. Ugh, the printer's asshole. just sick of all of us in this oh, office. This printer, That's why. this this printer. Yeah. Oh my. Uh, uh, it's an older printer, so as an older printer, it's like I can't. It can't be bothered. Yeah. It yeah. can't be. He's bothered. done with our shit. Yeah. Or he yeah. or she. You know, whatever, I would love it if it printed out by. a middle finger. Exactly. Yeah. Just, Anyways. Just go fuck yourself. Good luck with that, Riley. Mm -hmm. So what else we got today, Mark, other than you fighting with our printer? <laughs> you don't want to talk about that more? Uh, News-wise? Sure. We have lots and lots and lots of news. We do. Um, but real quick, uh, because I'm a Superman guy, did you see Zack Snyder continue to yes. stir the internet into he a frenzy? It. What happened? He shared um, Henry Cavill in the black suit Superman. Oh. 
somebody a uh, follower tweeted that at yeah, us. Yeah. I thought that was just fan art. No, that's that was it. actually that's oh, it. Man. That's that's any in any shared it with uh, on his Vero account that said. Uh, my Superman. So, my, like, my, like, it's so funny. I'm just like, oh yeah, what are what are the nerds talking about today? I'm like, oh man, I wanted to see that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. we got we got the we got it. We we knew it was there. Yeah. He teased it at one point yeah. uh, when they were shooting the Instagram. Yeah, uh, right. Henry Cavill did like a very close up. It's like we're getting black suit Superman. This is cool. And so here it is, and it looks. Fucking awesome. I think it's yeah. gonna be released next year. I HBO. hope so. I really Probably. do. I think so. I mean, mm-hmm. that would be so dumb of them to not do that, especially because they do so many other different ultimate cuts of every other fucking movie. Well, well here's the thing. Zack Snyder now gives zero fucks. Mm. He is all all in on this. He yeah. knows that the, there is a large contingency of people that are behind him on this. I have no idea if Warner Brothers is just ignoring him. It feels that way. Mm-hmm. And he's just going. He's like, oh, okay. Black suit Superman. People are losing their mind. Me, right. losing his mind. Um, he's showing, like, you know, stuff about dark side. He's sharing all these wonderful things and getting everybody excited for this thing. And, well, here we are. I Still talking question, about it. Though. What, yeah. Why do you guys think they're so – because I see defi- – it's like this is like The Last Jedi. The release the the Snyder Cut thing is like half of us really want to see this and the other, and the other half is like, no, fuck that. But why do you think that half – doesn't want us to see it. That's what I don't understand. It's like, what do you care if there's another edition of a movie? Yeah, that's well, bizarre th- to me. I think there are like two conversations happening. There, right. the, there, there. You know, and I was in this camp because I was like watching, I was reading articles from trusted trades or like, there's no cut. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I trust them. And then when Snyder comes out and says, no, 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 I have a cut. Well, that changed it for me. Right. So now, but I still think there are people that don't believe that or right. that. I do believe that there is some effects work that needs to be done, and that's maybe what holds it up for Warner Brothers end. But yeah. there is a cut out there. I just don't think they I, – I think there are two – I think that the fandom kind of made it really hard for some people. Mm-hmm. Like they would come at you pretty hard. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I think some people were really turned off by that, and so they want to continue to kind of go against that, on, at least on social media. I think when historians speak about the second decade of the 21st century, <laughs> the two In battles, the, books, yeah. Yeah, the two battles they will speak about is the battle of the Last Jedi yeah. and the battle of the Snyder Cut. Yeah. It will be the two things that people will speak. I mean, documentaries uh, will absolutely be made about both of these things. Mm-hmm. Uh, how and American certain, history has changed. Exactly <laughs> right. When we, we don't have any real battles, you got to create them. I just find I find it funny both sides, the sanctimoniousness on both sides. Right? Yeah, yeah. The people who don't, who think everyone's an idiot for thinking the Snyder Cut's actually going to go out, right, right, right. And then the people on the other side who think, who think it's such a foregone conclusion that it's coming, and you're an idiot for not believing that it's coming right, out, right? I'm in the middle because I'm like, I'd like to see it. I hope it comes right. out, but I don't want to add to the vitriol going on between so both those sides because I just want to see it right. and I'd love it to come out. And if it doesn't, my life will still go on. Right. Yeah. So I, I'm just. I'm, like, well, I'm exactly. That's. But that's how I feel. It's same with the the whole last Jedi thing. I'm like, look, loved half of it, hated half of it. Yeah. I don't care what you think. I'm mm. literally Tommy Lee Jones in The Fugitive. I don't care. <laughs> Good reference. Yeah. I just, I, I think I would love to see this. I really hope it comes out, but I'm not going to get into a fight with anyone about it. But see, I can understand right now the Snyder Cut being something to continue talking about because Snyder continues to share these things. Because he wants to. Yeah. The Last Jedi stuff, it's like, Jesus Christ, oh, yeah, stop yeah, yeah. it. It's, I, I'm, I'm over it. I, 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 I've hit a wall. I have hit a wall of this stuff that nobody's... Do you nobody's, hate Star Wars now, Ryan? Uh, I, no, I love my Star Wars. <laughs> you do. But guess what? It's for me now. Yeah, It's exactly. like, I don't care about what, what everybody else thinks. I am going to talk about Star Wars on my show, and I'll talk about it with my friends. Right. And f- th- th- this... But this you're not going to start any petitions. <laughs> I'm not going to start any petitions. <laughs> I'm not going to... Like, I'm literally muting people yeah. that, that, like, you know, somebody was pissed at me because... I didn't bring up a Star Wars movie in my best of decade. Mm. Right. Couldn't believe it. I'm like, I can't win. Right. Cross the board. I can't You're win. You're not a real fan. Yeah, it's either that or I'm a shill or but I don't like what's... Star Wars or I love Star Wars too much and agree with Star Wars too much. It's like I fucking can't win. But it's not even just the fans, though, because I think it ha- 
happens a lot with our YouTube space that mm. there's like you know the punditry that that happens in in this space that there's people that are like oh no this is definitely what's going on behind the scenes at Warner Bros. Right. I'm like are you there in that room? Yeah, like see, do you have yeah. you talked to Zack Snyder? Yeah, like, everybody's an insider with all of these things. It's like <laughs> so they know weird. that Sources they say. know that behind the scenes on the Last Jedi this went on is like no you don't. Yeah, yeah. sources I don't know say. Shit. Sources like, say. Like yeah, my brother's cousin yeah. like who knows Zack Snyder's right. girlfriend like daughter yeah no it's, it's so a classic weird. thing like someone we don't want to say the name but that a certain somebody in a position of power is constantly saying well I've heard or they say yeah some have said and he's like no one's saying this no I, one is I, saying I, this you're just fabricating this out of thin air but I want to ask you a question because it yeah. struck me last night I was talking to a couple friends about this last night on text and the New York Times article right that's right. blowing oh, up God, right yeah, and, yeah. and and uh, I think this is I in my personal opinion and, and you guys who are listening and watching and you two could have an issue with it of course Alex and Cody but like I I, I think there's a certain level of responsible journalism here mm -hmm. that you have to do, right? right? And I wonder about the New York Times why you would drop this article now in because it Click seems paint. it seems selfish to do it when the fandom is finally come back together. Right. Baby Yoda has unified <laughs> the world you know, and the Mandalorian. You're, you're wrong. Yeah, whatever yeah. people feel about the Mandalorian, Baby Yoda is universally beloved. Even my he girlfriend last night was like, "Who is this Baby Yoda stuff?" And I had to explain it to yeah. her because yeah. she has no concept of Star Wars. Same. There's so many all. people that watch that don't watch the Mandalorian. They're like, "I love Baby Yoda." Right. Yeah. And so why drop this article now in the short term, desperate uh, uh, um, desire for clickbait or clicks? Then after the movie comes out, drop it after the movie comes out. Let people enjoy Star Wars one more time, you know, free well, but of also, controversy. But also, for why once. is it news that like an actor says something? Like it's yeah. like it's it, we say stuff all the time, and some and a lot of the time when people are being asked questions by journalists, like you're on the spot, and sometimes you don't word things properly. That's right. why the whole Martin Scorsese shit show has oh, been happening yeah, yeah, yeah. all year, yeah. right? Well, yeah, that's that's exactly what's yeah. happening. They're they were promoting Rise of Skywalker, so. Right. And they were asked, and, and the thing about the media now is they know that The Last Jedi is the SEO click. Right. Right? Exactly. So they will ask, yep. and whatever gets said, they can then take, and many, many things were taken out of context yesterday. Yeah. Many, 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 many things. things. <laughs> if you read the full article, you can get the context. Exactly. Now, I'm not saying that there wasn't some shade thrown. Right. There was. There was. And that's what's troubling to me. Right. And it feels like, it's almost like they're afraid that if they don't, I don't know. I don't know. It, it feels really manufactured. Yeah. It feels like there's something Are like. Are you talking about Disney manufacturing something? What? Wait, what's happening? <laughs> fucking A, and it pisses me off. <laughs> because we are getting to this point where it's like, let's go watch. Uh, let's go watch a Star Wars movie. Yeah. You know, I don't like the prequels. Say what you will about them. There were moments in all of them that I loved. So the going music, to the, the music, about it. some of the lightsaber battles, some of the performances. <laughs> Sith, I love, right? Uh, but, you know, some of the Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, okay, take it or leave it. But I it doesn't that. change the fact that there are people that enjoy those movies. Across the board, there are going to be people out there that love these movies. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that people are yelling and screaming about it, it's just taking away from, like, certain people's enjoyment. I, I, I don't it's know why they're trying to— because people need to go to the sex store. I think so. Yeah. Smoke a giant fat bowl, yeah. go to the sex store, yeah. and then enjoy your Star Wars or not yeah. enjoy yeah. your and, Star Wars. I don't exactly. care. And take your clothes off and run free in the world. So that's, <laughs> right. I mean, there's nothing without wrong. hurting anybody. Without hurting exactly. anybody. I, 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 was, I find this an interesting thing, too, Riley, and, and I wonder if there's a little bit of hypocrisy here, and I'm, I know I'm going to walk the line a little bit, but like the people who grew up with the prequels and defend the prequels mm -hmm. and love the prequels, if you're adding to the vitriol against the current trilogy, aren't you remembering what it was like exactly. to be defending those prequels against yeah. the original trilogy lovers who hated those prequels? Right. Mm -hmm. Like, don't you have a little bit of self-awareness that mm -hmm. hey I'm doing what was done to me and I hated it when it was done to me why am I doing it to them right. and that's like, a I very wonder, good point that you're you know, bringing up as somebody that you know we all here love the original trilogy and yeah. grew up with them I I remember when the prequels came out, like the first time I saw Phantom Menace, I definitely lied to myself that I liked it. Yeah. I saw it a few more times <sighs> and I realized it was not for me and I was an asshole about it and I was like, Jar Jar Binks sucks and like George Lucas ruined my childhood. I was that asshole in my, mm. you know, like as a teenager. And now that I've gotten older, I realize why do I need to shit on someone yeah. for liking a movie that I don't like? Right. There's no reason. It does nothing for me. Mm. I'd rather spend that time watching a movie I like with my friends. Yeah. I just yeah. don't understand it. Yeah. And then and those people are doing 
doing it now. Yeah. It's so weird. And I think this article is going to poison people before we go in that theater, and that's a shame. Because yeah. I wanted this to stand on its own and let us consume it on our own. And yeah, maybe the vitro would still be there right afterwards. But let us enjoy one weekend, opening weekend of Star Wars, without any of the extra stuff coming from the outside. Because there's a New York Times article. I guarantee you that author is not a crazy Star Wars fan. They wrote it. To get some uh, publicity. Because that's, that's their job that's now. Their job. That's the sad thing about it is that it's people's job now, whether it's in the video yeah, space yeah. or journalism. It's like, oh, what are people going to click on? Because we need to make money. That's what's sad about the media. Right. Yeah. And, and not everything's one to one. Like, I get it. You have to have perspective, right? Like, we, we here at Collider, right. we publish articles. Mm -hmm. We're looking for those stories. We want those clicks to stay alive as a site. Exactly. Makes all kinds of sense in the world. But... Editors also have responsibility about when to drop certain things and, yeah. when, and schedule when to drop certain things. So that's the thing at the end of the day for me. I think the New York Times really made a mistake dropping this stuff. And it makes all it makes everybody involved who make made these shady comments look bad. Hmm. It makes Star Wars look bad. It makes Lucasfilm look bad. It makes Disney look bad. And I think it's such a massive mistake because we were all just finally back together again, looking forward to seeing what would happen at episode And one. we were all so happy about Baby Yoda. Yeah, Baby let's Yoda. Just, let's just keep talking about Baby Yoda. Yeah. And, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, just if you want to go see the movie, go see the movie and enjoy it. Yeah. And if you don't yeah. want to because you didn't like The Last Jedi or you're yeah. not liking the direction... That's your prerogative as well. Yeah. And I, it's I just, just like teach their own. Exactly. I can't wait to go see Rise of Skywalker. Mm -hmm. I really can't. Me too. It, it, like it's it's the end. And yeah. I want to see what they do and how this they wrap is it the up. End. Yeah. This is the end. Cody, Alex, you guys have any thoughts on this? Because I know uh, you might have a whiteboard going on right now. No, I'm so sick of this story, guys. I'm yeah. So <laughs> <sick of> this <laughs> it's hard. Movie. It's hard. I respect Isn't that. Isn't that sad that we're also sick of Like, we want to see it, but we're sick of Star Wars because yeah, of it? Yeah, it's, it's the final movie of this saga, and it should be this amazing time we're all looking forward to it. now we're fighting on fucking twitter again it's stupid yes yep. yes well, i agree that's it, my point. exactly i agree it's it's it just takes a lot of uh the fun out of it and what we do is a little different you know we see all of this and right. it's directed at us sometimes and so it can be a little much when you have to go to your social mm -hmm. media to say okay what are people talking about right now right. i'm programming a show let's go and oh last year yeah, yeah oh geez oh god oh, oh go, go, go fuck myself why why you know it's like <laughs> you're going through <laughs> go your your myself. mentions and it's, it's like i will go fuck myself it, thank you it very can much. take yeah. it and and the chat rightly so calling me out as being a little like get off the caffeine and give me a joint and just thank you everybody in the chat exactly it, yeah it's a lot it can wear on me yeah. it can it can wear on me and we're all so tired to we each just their own though see baby yeah. yoda memes that's yeah. all i want yep like that yeah. baby yoda meme <gasps> can we play that can alex we, yeah. please did you see baby yoda show up in jurassic park oh yeah our uh, very own lovely perry nimerov uh, retweeted this uh, and, and that's why i found it but uh, i'm gonna look it up guys we're looking for it thank you cody yes. looking for it right now you said perry tweeted it oh well no it's right there it's right oh, here yeah Shit. i put the link there there you go Shut down the system. Oh, great scene in... Oh, there he oh. is. <laughs> great movie, great scene. <laughs> oh my God, look at his ears. <laughs> he just keeps... Oh my God. Oh... <laughs> 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 Baby Yoda it's just so wants to keep cute. turning that things back on. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> See, people, this is, look, whoever this person that made this video, good for you. You're yeah. a very talented person it's who's making very good, really yeah. cool, entertaining things for us instead of just yelling at people on Twitter. Right. So good for them. <laughs> yeah. What else we got today, Riley, that's not, hopefully not as controversial <laughs> because uh, we are all so tired. <laughs> well, let's... Let's. I don't know if it's controversial or not, but The Flash finally got a premiere date. Yay! Nobody cares but me. Yeah. I'm very excited. Are you excited about I this? I love Ezra Miller. I don't. I know he's not doing you know the Barry Allen thing. He's more like Wally West, but I don't care. I like oh. him, and I and I love the director Andy Muschietti. So yeah, yeah. no, Andy Muschietti is making me very excited for this in yeah. particular. I, I I'm very interested to see what he does. Uh, away from horror, because mm -hmm. a lot of people are saying, "Ooh, you're, you're a horror director. You're going to make horror stuff with Flash," yeah. and he's like, "No, Aww. that's not that's not the character." Right. So uh, finally, finally, we got a premiere date. I'm going to find it real quick. This is according to the Wrap. They have set it for July 1st, 2022. Oh, so wow. if that's pretty close. Yeah. So finally, we're going to get the Flash. Ezra Miller is still uh, involved. I know he did uh, some rewrites on it himself. Mm -hmm. I know that Muschietti then comes in and. Here we are, though, finally. It's been so long. I think it was dated at one point. 
Then it was removed. Rick Famuyiwa was in, involved. And then who else was involved? It was uh, Grant Morrison was supposed to co-write yeah. with Ezra with Miller. Ezra. And yeah. I'm sad that didn't happen. They, I would love... It did happen. They rejected the script. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which I, I'm curious to see what it was. Because yeah. they should bring someone like Grant that actually knows these characters yeah. to write these movies. So that's surprising to me. Yeah. Well, they came in uh, with Christina Hodson, who did Bumblebee. She's yeah. great. So and she's, she's also doing Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey. Yes. Yeah. So she's she's really crushing it right mm-hmm. now. Yeah. So we have that that new draft, whatever it is. So the long road to get Flash has finally, at least for now, mm-hmm. hopefully it doesn't happen again. But 2022, we're going to get Flash. Cross cool. your fingers. This is interesting. This is Are a, you guys excited? I, I, I am, am very excited. Yeah, and it makes sense considering Patty Jenkins' comments the other day about Wonder Woman 3. Mm. How they're going to take a bit of time between 2 and 3. Right. Makes sense. You want to let these other films slide into these slots and get their get their audience or get hooked into the DC audience. Mm-hmm. And down the road, maybe. Down yeah. the road, we're looking at a Justice League. Down the Another road. Another that my man. That's what I was, yeah. that's I what I was just, wondering. Yeah. yeah, because now we have Flash. Now Wonder Woman 1984. Matt right. Reeves is the Batman. Where is Superman? Right. Where the hell is <laughs> Superman? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. We've been yeah. asking for Man of like, Steel 2 forever. Seriously, yeah. dude. Yeah. Right. Um, so, yeah. So, we're, we're building the Justice Shaving League back up mustache, again. Shaving off his mustache, probably. Yeah. Like, hopefully. Mm-hmm. I'm sure yeah. we'll get a Green Lantern soon. The core was supposed to come out this year. But right. I'm sure, or 2020, rather. Right. And I'm sure it'll come out, at, be coming for soon at some point. Right. As soon as they make the announcements for that. That'd be also. pretty cool. You you bring in Green Lantern. You bring in like uh, Mar- Martian Mar- Manhunter. Yeah, I love like John Jones. I would love to get a Martian Manhunter. How cool would that be? Well, it looks like they're building the league. So yeah. we're, it seems like we're back on track to maybe get to that yeah, Justice League. There's and no rush. No rush. Yeah, yeah. I because at one point when they were announcing Birds of Prey and a Batgirl and and some other stories, which I was excited about, but yeah. I'm like, you know, yeah, of course, where's my Superman? But I'm like, what about? The, the key figures in the Justice League that really, I think, get a lot of the fans excited. Yeah. So now it looks like we're, we're finally on that track. What's the chat saying? Are they excited or do they hate it? Uh, the Flash movie? or yeah. ju- Well, just in general, because I hear a lot of people that are hardcore fans, uh, some, a lot of them weren't a fan of Ezra Miller. Mm-hmm. Like, they think he's a good actor, but they didn't like the take on the character. Mm-hmm. And I understand that, but I mean, it, to me, it's like Danny DeVito in Batman Returns completely different penguin but yeah. i like the take on the character it was it was cool and it makes sense for this person to be like a half beast yeah. half man right that's mm-hmm. how he was acting so yeah uh, i mean people are talking about uh ezra miller they're talking about mustaches they're talking yeah. about <laughs> wonder woman 1984 yeah release the solo miller cut yeah we can get that so- sure <laughs> i like that um that's so funny. Uh, Cyborg. Uh, somebody's talking about Cyborg. I love Cyborg. Yeah. He was great in Ray that. Fisher, yeah. And the suit was kick-ass, it too. It was. It was. And, and the rumors were that they were going to do a Cyborg standalone film as well. And now that's kind of gone by the wayside. So. And, the, and at one point I heard, wasn't it a Cyborg and Flash movie? Yeah, down the road. Yeah, because yeah. they had such great chemistry, which is why they had that ditch-digging scene in uh, Justice League. That, right. was, that, that, that was pretty great. That, was See, there was good stuff. You just don't remember the... Wait, the you ten- liked the ditch-digging? I liked the 10% that... And Zack Snyder. How dare you? How dare Do you think that was Snyder's? <laughs> no. He just I think said, that was, let everybody no. like what they like. And yeah. here he goes. You like the ditch digging scene? Yeah, I, you're just, you sorry. troll. You, gotta, you want to fight about it on Twitter, Mark? No, yeah, yeah. I will fight yeah, on that Twitter. I'll you right now. There, there's a difference between <laughs> let people yeah, let people enjoy and then having a conversation with a friend going, what? Oh, yeah. fair, well, fair. Well, yeah. I mean, that and I just got into it because he called my one of my favorite shows of all time, Hannibal. It's a fine show. Yeah, right, right. And I was show. like, how dare you? <laughs> fine show. That is the best gay horror stuff I've ever ever seen in my life that was so good <laughs> yeah it was a beautiful show it was a fun homoerotic show. horror man i was very happy about it uh so what else we got mark all right well let's switch on over to keanu reeves nice my favorite this is Whoa. talk about the keanu sense is that what we're talking about <laughs> keanu sense yeah you're breathtaking um matrix 4 was dated and so was john wick 4 uh-huh and they're all the same weekend. <laughs> really? That's yeah, like so, a Keanu well, marathon. I know. So Warner Brothers released uh, their slate. And so the untitled Ma- Matrix sequel is set for May 21st, 2021, which is, oh, man, that's really close. Yeah, I like is. that. So and it's the same weekend as John Wick Chapter 4. Now, the, so, someone is going to move, I think. Mm-hmm. And I think it was going to be John Wick. But okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I mean, because the Matrix has been – 
w- w- when was the last Matrix movie we got? <sighs> Revolutions. It, uh, yeah. Revolution was, was 2003. Like, that was a long time ago. So, Oof. and and I wasn't a big fan of them as mm-hmm. much as you know most people are. Uh, but uh, I I'm looking forward to to Matrix Four because mm-hmm. it could be good, right? I have no right. idea. It could be another Matrix Revolutions, right? right? right. But uh, but I just, here's the thing about Keanu, I will watch him. Just eat a potato on YouTube. I don't. I don't care. I I'll, love him so much. I want to see him eat a potato. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. I just. Potato. Yeah. And and I. I love potatoes. <laughs> Can I have some butter, please? <laughs> this potato is breathtaking. I love baked potatoes. Yeah. I love movies. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's my favorite. However, yeah. out of those two, I'm actually looking forward the most to Bill and Ted. Like, oh, Bill and Ted. If we if we're right, talking about right, new right, Keanu right, right. stuff, that's the one I cannot wait for because that's that's the Keanu I grew up with. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's that's my jam. Uh, it's interesting. I, I get the impulse that the Matrix would be the one to move, but the, John Wick. It's uh, been the more successful franchise consistently through all three chapters. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So this one has more of a like, show me that you got it right this time versus John Wick, which I know it's gonna be is going to be good. Yeah. So I it's wonder which one to blink, but I think somebody should write a movie about the end of the world ending on the day Keanu faces <laughs> off against Keanu and has to somehow force the studio, one of the studios, to move their release date or else the world will end. Or yeah, like they that. can make a movie called Keanu versus Keanu. Right. And then I would love that. And then everybody in the movie is actually Keanu, played by Keanu Reeves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like Multiplicity this. with Michael Keaton. Yeah, great yeah. movie. I like that. Yeah. I, <laughs> we Isn't have that to great? move Multiplicity. Movie. Count Dracula. I want to see Multiplicity now. It's such, are you so kidding good. me? It's so <laughs> You know I what did. I was thinking about? Go- oh, hey, Steve. She, she, does, he, she touched my peppy, Steve. Uh, she you know what I was pee-pee. thinking about? If I there was one person that I would interview that I would probably not be able to interview, it's Michael Keaton because I love him so much. Do you guys yeah. have someone like that? You wouldn't be able to interview? Well, I mean, maybe, but I would just be like, do you want to be my friend? Oh, like, yeah. I'd be like Chris Farley in SNL. Right. right? It's like, hey, remember that time when you were really cool as Batman? <laughs> He's like a that. great interview, by the way. Have you read his interviews? Yeah, no, I, I love him. I'm obsessed with him. are him. incredible. He's so smart and so seasoned and knowledgeable about the business and about life Right. that he is fun. I would savor an interview with that guy, and I wouldn't even need to publish it. I just want to be in it. the room yeah. near him yeah. is all. I just don't know if I could we do it. We should make that happen. No. I'll hide under the table. I'll be like Josh McCuga. I feel like you got to be able to get him on Collider Live. No, I don't, What's he doing? He's he not doing do that it. much right now. I don't know. He's he's He Instagrams uh, uh, cups of whiskey. So I'm like, oh, we could hang. Yeah. But So is there anyone like that that you guys would be like intimidated by or that you grew up loving that you would either love to interview or you don't know how nervous you would be for Harrison it? Ford. Oh, yeah. Because huh? I, I got close. Uh, I was doing a, a freelance gig in Vegas for the NATO, which is what? <laughs> Let me tell you about the last Jedi, Mark. Oh God! <laughs> I don't. I don't think I. Uh, you, did you like that movie? So, <laughs> Mr. Like Ford, have you heard about the divisiveness, the, the divisiveness of the Last Jedi online? I don't care. Exactly. Why are you he asking? wouldn't care. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I was working in uh, Vegas for uh, the National Association of Theater Owners, and they were trying to get us uh, Harrison Ford, and he only agreed to do two interviews. Right. And it was like I, I remember it was Entertainment Weekly, and then another big outlet. Mm-hmm. He could have given a fuck about us. <laughs> but I was standing in the line, and yeah. as he was walking by, as he was getting closer to me, you know, the one of the people behind me is like, "Try to get a soundbite," and I'm like. Uh, uh, and I'm holding the microphone and he notices that I'm Aww. yeah and he just winks <laughs> he gives me a wink and keeps going and I went yeah. <laughs> Aww. That, that happens and then it was like what happened <clears throat> where am I That's I funny. have no idea what happened That's, yeah he was I get it that he's, happens. The, he's the guy for what me. about you John well it was The Rock Okay. Until I interviewed him twice, mm-hmm. I was a stupid mess before both of those interviews. Yeah. Um, what What is John like as a stupid mess? Oh, I, I'm so in my head and nervous and stumbling, and I oh. and I basically, <laughs> basically <laughs> that's all that's going on in my head. <laughs> all that's going on in my head. That's all that's going. On. That's, that's just, it's just that. It's just that, and I can't find my words. But I would say. <laughs> you son of a bitch! I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna storm in there and take off all your clothes. Uh, do it, do it. <laughs> I would say uh, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise would be the one that I'd be okay. like really, really nervous to interview for like an hour. Well, that's also because that's somebody that you don't know how they're gonna be that day. Right. Well, you know? true. But he's also like a hero. Like right. to me, like I, I, 
revere Tom Cruise did I uh, tell from you the my, beginning. Did I tell you my Tom Cruise story? No. I was at Runyon, uh, and this was when I was Shut with, with, with uh, uh, Cal was with me. Huh? And I was letting Cal run around in this little area, and there were a couple beagles, and they started playing with each other. And someone behind me goes, ah, oh, great dogs. And I, I go, ah, oh, so, he's so great. And I turn around, I'm like, Tom Cruise? What? Yeah. <laughs> And we chatted for five minutes at about the Runyon? dogs at Runyon Canyon. It was it was so incredible, and he was the nicest, uh, the nicest <sighs> guy God. ever. Like he just was so cool. And I I'm just sitting, and I'm freaking. Yeah, I was falling apart inside because I just said over and over again, "Yeah, those dogs are great." Aren't those dogs great? <laughs> yeah. Man, these dogs are great. <laughs> yeah, like, these yep, dogs. They're pretty great. Pretty great. I mean, that's a good conversation to have because yeah. dogs are great. Cody, mm-hmm. Alex, have you have? What about you guys? Would you like to? Is there someone you would love to interview, or have you had a crazy celebrity encounter like that? Uh, I'm scared to talk to people in general. Mm. Uh, I don't really have anybody. Alex. Uh, I'd, I, I'd want to interview my favorite actor, who is Simon Pegg. Ooh. Oh, yeah. good answer. That's awesome. That's a good one. What's your favorite Simon Pegg movie? Is it World End? Um, well, my favorite of the three, uh, uh, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and World's End is Hot Fuzz, just because that's yes. the first one that I saw. Mm. It's so great. And changed, um, you know, I, I saw it at a young age, and so I was like, oh, I love this movie. Yeah, no, wow. it's it's, it's really, really great. Yeah. Um, well, it, I mean, there's definitely, a, it, it, it is weird, though, now that we, that we have lived in L.A. for a long time, it's kind of crazy to think that because of our jobs, yeah. we do this and we don't get starstruck, you know, anymore. But there is always that, like, one, oh, yeah. like, you know, Moby Dick, like, there one, that one whale yeah. That, yeah. that you would freak out. And I mean, I'm, I, mine already happened with John Williams. Yeah. Oh, wow. So John that Williams was, would probably be one of mine as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, and Wendy can tell you because she was with me mm-hmm. because um, we were, it was, it was the last Jedi premiere mm-hmm. and I had seen him at the Force Awakens premiere the first time but, and, and Nathan, um, obviously, w- one of our friends, uh, Mark Hamill's son, he, he was like, he's right there, you should go talk to him. I'm like, no. I was like, Cody, I was like, I'm not going to go talk to him. So for Last Jedi, Wendy's like, well, he's here and Nathan's like, and he's gonna die soon. Oh Jesus! <laughs> because he's old. Yikes! So, Jesus. I know, but it's true. So that, that's the, but that's what gave me the courage to the, go talk to him. It's the worst I'm, thing but, I've ever but heard. But it's true. It's I, the, no, I know. Say, but is it? Shouldn't you la, do la, things? La, 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 la. But that's yeah. why we do things, mm. right? Because they're like, oh, we're gonna die, YOLO. So we gotta do it. Yeah. So, anyways, it was. I'm sure I, I blacked out. I made a complete fool <laughs> of myself. I don't know what happened. I just told him I love you and and took a photo, and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. I I went to <laughs> at at the. Soul Solo premiere. I went to Kasdan, Lawrence Kasdan. Oh, nice. He's a hero of mine. Right. He, As he for, should. Yeah. yeah, for screenwriting. And I, I somehow got out, you know, big fan. My name's Mark. And then <laughs> it was about that quick. Yeah. And then he moved on because. Like an asshole, I went to him when he was at the buffet. <laughs> so, well, why'd you do that when people are hungry, Mark? Because I had no idea who I was. Right, I right, just right. kind of walked over. <laughs> You're just like a nerd. Yeah, it did. here it is. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was you. He was, he was at the end of the buffet as he was done. I right. said, I'm just a big fan. Mr. Kazan, thank you so much for, you've inspired me so much right, right. in my own career. And he went, thank you very much, and then moved yeah. on. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want some turkey. Thank yeah, you. exactly. Yeah. I mean, those buffets are good at those premieres. Mm-hmm. Anyways, what else we got, Mark? Well, the other thing in the news of this uh, Warner Brothers is that they did date as well uh, Mortal Kombat. So we're getting. Uh, let me find it real quick. Ooh, the let's Mortal play Com- that theme song, Cody. <laughs> we were talking since finish we're, him. Since we're so playing scores later. Uh, Mortal. Okay, the release uh, in the calendar. Warner Brothers moved up the release of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> To March 5th, 2021. Do some typo. Uh, from, from, sorry, March 5th, 2021 to January 15th, 2021. So we're going to get it a little bit earlier, a couple months early. Okay. You guys remember doing, like, some weird typo Mortal shit to this stuff? Oh, yeah. Remember okay. that crap? Yeah, anyways. So um, I, I, I just got the embargo lifted last night. For what? I was at the Mortal Kombat thing. Like, we we're, were able to, we posted, we got sent our photos last night. Okay. So... I can talk about this that I was at the Mortal Kombat. You did Kombat. a set visit. Wow, well, never mind. Never mind. Finish him. Okay, so Cody, what happened? Cody, I'm going to kill you. Uh, Finish him. Yeah, I was at the set visit. So we were able to post pictures we took with Louis Tan and mm-hmm. all this kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, they dated it, so I, I can't wait. I'm telling you right now, from my experience, I'm going to tell you a small thing. 
I think this thing is going to be incredible. Ooh, yeah. that's exciting. Louis Tan, speaking of, I mean, guest yeah. of the show. Yeah, friend of the show. As well yeah. as he, uh, what he shares, he's saying it's next level stuff. Yeah, he, it is. And he look, he's looking bruised and battered because of all the stunt work he's doing. What Those guys are all is? swole. Jeez. And it's, and it's all these, they're like... They're huge. They're yeah. huge. Yeah. And it's all these, like, real legitimate martial artists... That's awesome. ...that are involved in this. Like, this guy, one of these uh, younger guys, he worked with Jackie Chan for 10 years. Ooh. Another yeah. dude does the raid. It's incredible. Incredible stuff. And uh, what's-his-face from Supergirl? I don't know. The don't Jimmy James it. Olsen? The, the black actor oh, from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. is, like... Ripped. a tree trunk right now he's yeah, so big that's it's insane awesome. so uh, do you like the original at least in, in a I like, like the a... campy yes the right. original campy one with Christopher, Christopher Lambert yes. and all that yes I like the campy nature of it all you same uh, but the other ones I did not like. So. Same. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, me too. I, I'm excited. I want to see a good martial arts movie in the video. I want to see a good video game movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would, that would I, be nice. I, I think this is going to be the one. Uh, I really, truly do because I think they understand the property. Mm -hmm. I think they're making it hard. Yeah. Uh -oh. There was one this year. Come on. Yeah, yeah. No, that. Ah, of well, of course. Detective Pikachu, one. Cody, was, was, was amazing. Did you did you love it, Cody? No, I liked it though. It means it's it's a good video game. Movie. It was fun. We had one, guys. It was okay, fun. I mean, he's pretty cute, even though he had a weird voice. I didn't like the voices. Pikachu. Much. Well, Ryan Reynolds was the voice, and yeah. it was weird because oh, yeah. I, you know, I wanted him to just be like Pika Pika. Yeah, because yeah. you hear Deadpool there. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so John, when where can uh, people find this? When is it going out? I, I, I'm not going to be able to talk about it until like write about it until next year. But, oh, but so I, you can't? There's no article coming up soon. Not not like soon. That. No, because okay. they they but they released the pictures that we took on that day, and they okay. said that you can talk about it on social media. These pictures, so I can't talk about what I saw yet, but I can talk about that. I think it's gonna be great, and I wish I could remember the composer, but it's. Uh, um, Alex, can you please look Lud it up? Ludwig something. Lud oh, like Goran's son. Goran's I, think it's, I think it's Goran's The Black Panther Wait, Black guy. Panther and the man. And man yes, I think it's him. Wow. wow. Um, because he played. Wow. Yeah. So I can't. Wow. Speaking wow. of which. What? At the 1130 hour. We're gonna oh, yeah. Do, we're going to do a fun game. Guess that. Uh, guess the score. Oh, yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. We had a lot of fun uh, playing the TV theme song uh, game last right. week. Mm -hmm. uh, we were There was a lot of yelling mm -hmm. going on. And then uh, Ken Knapsack, our Ken friend Knapsack. Uh, David Harbour Light, is what he calls himself, <laughs> will be joining us at 11. So. Yeah. And he's going to join feats. us for the game. Uh -huh. So that's going to be fun. So Exactly. Uh, wait, what are you looking up, Alex? Shazam 2 was just announced. Oh, oh breaking news, you awesome. guys. Awesome. There it Same is. Year as Flash. Awesome. Interesting. Okay. Shazam was, was so great. I, I can't mm. wait to, to get another one of those. Me too, yeah. Do you, are they going to incorporate Black Adam in there they, at the end, do you think? He said not till the third one. But the third there one, might but be something. You're post credit right. tease yeah. to set yeah. that up. Yeah. Great. The Rock. Great. I don't think anybody disliked this movie. This How was can a, you? This was a really great movie. How can you? I mean, it's, it's big, big meets superhero. Super, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. God, my uh, favorite when he's just in the air. He's like, I can't hear you. Are you doing your villain thing? It's just. Was... <laughs> no, man. The the Seven Eleven or whatever that oh, was yeah. that scene. Oh, that was fantastic. Have that you seen so the great. the merge where they're showing Shazam shooting the lightning bolts and Wonder Woman swinging off the lightning no. bolts? No. Oh. Yeah, they've got Shazam going like this, like this, and then Wonder they're cutting to Wonder Woman swinging off each one as that's he's great. riding the lightning. Yeah, riding the lightning that's, off the one. He it's brilliant. That's really cool, I love man. That. See, and that's why when people are like, "Oh, DC doesn't know what they're doing," I'm like, "Whatever, man. I like their movies. You can't I don't say care. that anymore. No." No one can they, say that. Anymore. Sorry, I could argue that they knew that what they were doing with Man of Steel Thank and BVS. You. Yep. I mean, come on. It just well, it didn't. Well, BVS, like they, yeah. it didn't, half of it. I'm halfway there. Yeah, half come of, on. Half of it. You guys haven't come around on that one. No, yet, I, huh? I told you. I was the theatrical release. I sat there and I was like, same as Last Jedi. Loved half of it, hated half of it. Yeah. And then I saw the Ultimate Edition and I like I enjoyed it a lot more. And my only problem was Lex Luthor. Because he's, actually, he's we, actually grown on me, except for that no, Jolly I, Rancher I, scene. I but, get the know. character that they were trying to pull off, and it makes sense for the modern times. I just that's just not the take I personally wanted. Yeah. It doesn't mean it was bad. Yeah, does I, that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I just I just want like a you know Idris Elba or Brian C Cranston style uh, yeah. Lex Luthor that's more like the Lex Luthor that's like scary to to Superman. Like, I, like, I want like that Jesse too. Eisenberg standing in front of Henry Cavill. I'm like, well, he could just like you know. I know Henry Cavill's like, like, boing. Yeah, exactly. It's like I don't know why he's scary. Takes there. care of that. Yeah. So, yeah, but know. that that was still one of my favorite theatrical experiences because we went opening night. And a guy dressed as Batman comes in and just the crowd just went nuts. <laughs> and he's just like, 
<laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that guy's Batman. And that's here why, he is. And that's why I still like going to movies. Yeah. And so you, everybody streams and I get that's it. That's exactly but I, I like why the I love. Experience. Yes, yeah. that's exactly right. I so, will admit something to you right now. Uh, in honor of Mark Riley, on Black Friday, I bought Batman v Superman <gasps> in 4K. Which one? The in 4K. The no, but which? Yeah, the ultimate. Yeah. Okay. And? Because that a baby. And? I still hate the movie. Oh, man. But I respect my friend's opinion. Okay. And so I have this weird kind of obsession with watching it mm-hmm. whenever it's on over and over again. It's, it's, it's been wait, on so it a lot lately. so you don't like the movie, like but you're but still watching yeah, it a it's lot? it's one of those films that I watch and I go, maybe they'll change it this time when I'm watching it. I don't understand. I have a weird what? kind of thing that I do sometimes with certain films that I'm like, I can't stop watching because I know it's terrible, but I keep hoping that but if I watch no. it this time, but it's not. that I'll fix it. But it's I don't not think terrible. you think it's terrible. I think you're watching it because you like some of it, but you yeah. but you probably want some, you wish you could change some of it, right? Maybe. Right? You don't think it's terrible. It's like terrible. when you're pouring, you open the refrigerator, you're like, I, maybe there's something in here. Dude, it was on the other day. I know, day. I open it all the time, and I'm Maybe like, Maybe someone so made hungry. some food while I wasn't around, and it's in the refrigerator. Exactly. I, I watched the last probably 40 minutes the other day, and it uh-huh. started right when Batman's going to the warehouse. Oh, yeah. That scene is incredible. Scene Give is me so that good. scene. Yeah. Over and over again, I love it so much. Agreed. Well, we got to go to break for a little bit, guys. But um, we will be back with Ken Knapsack. We will be back with some really fun games. We're going to fight about it. So go to the bathroom, drink some water. We will be back. Yeah, and uh, during this break, if you guys haven't yet, you should watch the In the Heights trailer. It's very good.
Ben. Hey, Alex. Hey, Ben. Hey, Alex. What's up guys, your boy Dorian? What's up guys, what's up guys? What's up guys, your boy Dorian? Welcome back to Collider Live. Joining us, my favorite David Harbour Light, Mr. Ken Knapsack. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. Collider Jetta Council today, later today. <laughs> Big show. Nice plug. Only reason he's here. I can. He's so happy to be here, apparently. No, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I'm just a little stressed. I'm working on something. Yeah. What are you oh. working on? I didn't get into something that I probably should have got into. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Don't worry. It's We're trying to happen. work on that. Right? It'll, it'll happen. You stressed out about it? Well, it upholds it holds up production of three shows. Yes. <laughs> if I don't get into this thing, I'm supposed to get into. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So okay. that's the stress on my face. This is a show where we confess our our fears and what's going on. This in our is brain, collider right? sure, sure. therapy. Yes. Yeah. Right well, no, it's, you know, good uh, good broadcasting, right? Put yourself into the. I'm I'm having a stressful morning. Oh, but there's worse things in the world. Correct. I know. But you don't have cancer. Wow. That we know of. <laughs> wow. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the show, everybody. What? Uh, use the code be. Collider10 to get uh, 10% off. Arrows and villains. Yikes. <laughs> it's live 10. Live 10. Exactly. Live 10, please, guys. If you do want to buy some cool uh, oh nerd God. merchandise, uh, oh live 10, live 10. Uh, Ken is healthy Yikes. and happy here. Just a little stress out. Your face was uh, can the I, best. Can I publicly apologize to one of the members of the crew here right now? Oh, what yeah. happened? John Roke, I'd like to apologize for giving you bronchitis. Oh, yeah. That was you? Thanks. I, yeah, he was I had it for over 30 zero. days. You're the monkey from Outbreak. And he you is. can't, as a freelancer with your own health care, you can't miss a day of work. Correct. That's fair. So I had to come here and do several shows uh, mm-hmm. hacking yeah. onto the mics. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's probably what yeah. happened. I'd yeah. like to publicly apologize. You pass it to Cody. Cody passed it to yeah. everybody in the office. And yeah. that's so why I, I have a weird throat thing yeah, now. Yeah. Damn now it. my girlfriend has walking pneumonia. Thanks, yeah. Cody. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's going well. around. I'm the monkey. <laughs> you are the monkey in Outbreak, though. <laughs> you are. But anyways, before we get into some nonsense, uh, mm. let's talk about some plugs here that we yeah. got. Uh, we actually have, uh, Riley, we have a Michael C. Hall that's music right. video that's, that's up right. on the Collider channel uh, for his band called Princess Goes to the Butterfly Museum. Which is the greatest band name of all time. Right? It's so weird. And then the song is called Ketamine. I actually, I watched it. It looks all creepy and cool. I love yeah. Dexter. Mm-hmm. Um, I, if you guys don't remember, Michael C. Hall actually started uh, doing Broadway, right? So he yeah. He is a singer, so he sings well. He yeah. sang on Six Feet Under. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, so that was pretty cool. Did you guys get to see it? Yeah, I, I really liked the video. And uh, there's a great article on .com right now that Chitwood did, a very long interview on it. So mm. if you guys are interested in uh, that kind of stuff, check it out. It's exactly. Really cool. And uh, also on another crazy Collider video happening right now, mm. which is our Anakin deepfake oh, video. Yeah. Uh, Frank, the our genius uh, guru here at Fuck the Frank. office. Fuck you, Frank. Fuck you, Frank. Fuck you, Frank, for being so talented. Uh, he actually ended up defaking Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah into all the Hayden Christensen scenes. So it, it looks so weird to me, but I kind of like it. Yeah, it looked really weird, but I love that kind of stuff. You're so stupid, I, love, I like I like the I like the what ifs. We did that with uh, Robert Downey Jr. swapping out for Tom Cruise and yeah, Iron Man, yeah. and now we did for, because as you knew, Ken, Anakin Skywalker, Leonardo DiCaprio was supposed to do. Well, I think he Lucas wanted him. Yeah, he was offered, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, he said that's no. Been a, 
I find it funny that there's a generation of people like just learning that when mm-hmm. we're like, yeah, no, yeah, that was a thing. Uh, <laughs> right. You didn't know I that. mean, there is I a whole reading. new generation younger than us. No, I know, so I, know. but it's but, but but no, but but believe me, like I was like in 1987, like did you know Paul McCartney was in a band before Wings? Like. <laughs> That age <laughs> spots blowing up on my head. It just continues to happen. I was talking to a friend. Uh, he's 28 recently. And he's like, and he does a podcast with a 20 and 21 year old. Uh-huh. He's like, I started to find him just not connecting to them. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. You, it happens. That's and the that's game. Natural. Yeah. And and you can okay. That's why I hate okay boomer jokes and references and memes because it's like. You're gonna get there too. Yeah. Oh kids. yes. Sooner oh, or yeah. later. All you oh. young, all you oh, yeah. young cocky little bastards. Yeah. You're all gonna end up I, in the I, same. I remember. Boat. So in, at the end of my radio career, I was the morning show host with my friend. I was 20, and my high school buddy was 20. We were doing the morning show, and I overheard a DJ who was about 42, 43 mm. complaining to the program director in the lobby, not knowing I was listening, going, "But they're so young. I actually was there at Candlestick when the Beatles. <laughs> oh, my Why gosh. can't I? And now here I am, 43, <laughs> getting told I'm being replaced by uh, every young person." in the world I'm like yep that's yeah. the circle. My favorite, are. though, is when people think that there's, like, oh, have you heard this song? Like, remember the Godzilla 90s uh, uh, soundtrack? Mm-hmm. Uh, it had a Puff Daddy, mm-hmm. I guess in, back in the day it was P. Diddy, right. okay. yeah. doing a horrible sample right. of Led Zeppelin's Cashmere. Yes. Uh, and, and people were like, oh, have you heard the new Puff Daddy song? It's cool. And I'm like, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is not a Puff it, Daddy song. Which yeah. is why I wasn't, wasn't angry or jumped on that, uh, you know, Billie Eilish thing, which she doesn't know who Van Halen is. She's 17. Exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. She's busy making records and touring the world, and she yeah. doesn't know what. I mean, and she's you, super talented. A, I've seen her live. Yeah. She's incredible. Yeah, you've seen yes. everyone live. It's, it's, it's like. <laughs> True. It's it's uh it's it's a legendary band without a doubt. And I always joke like, do, do you not know who Abe Lincoln is? Where, right. Did you right, have to right. be around the 1860s to know who Abe Lincoln <laughs> well, was? I, I, but that's just what it is. I'd rather them admit they don't know. Right. Yeah. Than Miley Cyrus at 15 wearing an ACDC shirt. Sure, you can't name two songs right. that right. they did. I would rather someone admit yeah. that they don't know a band it's, than wear a band unironically and yeah. uh, not like, be aware. Like tickets go on sale tomorrow for Hollywood Bowl, Alanis Morissette, Alanis Morissette. Garbage, and Liz, Liz Fair. Fair. Let's go. Wait, what? And, Let's go. What? I'm buying tickets. But yeah. Liz Fair, and me I'm and John in. Roca I'm love Liz Fair and yeah. all the conversations. And they're like, Exit from Guy Vaux is like, Garbage are you kidding me? And people are like, Liz Fair, like the one who did that, why can't I? song I'm like no. you, you mean the woman who changed the music industry yeah. in 93 by busting through the door and never gets club? the credit and one of and one credit. of the few uh artists that me as a teenager I was like this this album is yeah. for me yeah, yeah. Uh, Liz, yeah, this is it's, it's amazing Liz, She's amazing. Liz Fair uh her music especially White Chocolate Space Egg which is her third album taught me and I'm not perfect I don't understand women as mm-hmm. a straight male who we who, are very strange yeah, and vaginas I don't are scary no dude but, I'm with you but I don't she, understand her music because you show up if you're if you're a male in the mid 90s rock fan you show up because she's she's sexy she's singing sexy yeah. dirty lyrics and she's on Rolling Stone in a slip and you're like yeah it's a moth to the flame which she sings about and you get there and you're like oh wait I'm learning about a female perspective yeah. I'm learning about mm-hmm. a single mother struggling through a relationship exactly. and trying to date with a kid mm-hmm. Liz Fair taught me a lot about uh, women mm-hmm. and that's why I value her music and who she is. She's got a book out, a memoir book. She does. That's amazing. That we I got, we almost gotta, stole from we your get, house. Yeah, we got to get her in so I can interview her. Come uh, on. Yeah. I, would let, look, I would love you, that. Let's you and I interview her. January. John, you can come in. January, I just February, sit in the corner we're going to be uh, starting. We're, we're, we have a lot of plans for next year. Oh, yeah. 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 Very yeah. exciting plans. And one movie. of those uh, consists of, of not just doing film TV stuff. We wanna, we're want we going to try to get musicians in yeah. here. Yeah. So I'm very excited about that. Um, especially, how's yeah. it going there? Yeah. Yeah, did, 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 did you you trying to do Ray Charles or Stevie Wonder? Or? So what about Alana Morissette? So she's is. she's one of them too. Are you a huge? She's headlining. She's headlining. She, she, headlining. she was yeah. she. I liked some of her songs. I wasn't mm. as into her as I was into Garbage and Liz Fair because okay. uh, okay. Shirley Manson and Liz Fair to me are like they they're like I just like I'm a horny woman and I love this and I love these guys and I just want to yeah. fuck and like that's what I related to. Alana's was more like why'd you leave me and I'm like ah she's a little whiny. Yeah, Shirley. Yeah. Her music's great. I just didn't relate to her lyrics as much. I don't think Alana's was why you leave me. Says, you're gonna leave me? Yeah, I'm yeah, going. I'm gonna torch like, you to the ground. Which I also didn't relate yeah. to, right? Oh, okay, because for me, I'm like, oh, I'll just find someone else by you. Yeah. So. No, yeah. Shirley Manson was. <laughs> Manson. I mean, yeah, I love Shirley. You might not surprise you, but a, uh, a feisty, sassy redhead is kind of mm, yeah. my yeah. thing. Oh, Shirley yeah. Manson. Yeah. I was known around my radio station as being a Shirley Manson fan. But Atlantis, I started radio the week Garbage dropped their first single, mm. right? And queer. Atlantis was queer yes. and uh, the strangest of the strange. Yes. Uh, and Atlantis was. I think time. 25 years later, you forget what she 
dead. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. No, Jagged Little Pill. All of these people, all, mm-hmm. all of these bands, all of these mm-hmm. artists, like changed the industry completely, yeah. including uh, I, I want to include uh, Fiona Apple and Bjork in there. Absolutely, yeah. all of those people. Oh, are, Bjork was great. Oh yeah, Tori Amos. Yes. Yeah. Tori, Tori yes, Mills. Right. I saw uh, yeah, Garbage little, open little for uh, Tori and Alanis. Mm-hmm. That was one of my favorite concerts yeah. ever. Yeah. Garbage opened, and then it was Alanis, and then Tori closed it out. In right. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So wait, are we concerts. going? Are we getting tickets tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna swipe the credit card. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, let's the girlfriend's go. in. My um, girlfriend's in. That's pissed. Should we get like ten seats? Yeah, let's. Be, like, yeah, stop I'm, I'm, I'm in. Okay. I'm in. Great. I'm down. Sorry, I, I know you don't bring me on to talk uh, '90s rock, but that's usually uh, what I'm talking you about. Let's keep going. '90s do you, rock. Do you, do you even guys know feel? us? Do you even know me, Ken? I, I do know you. Yeah, I literally played when I was a teenager. I I had a crush on this guy, and I was like, I want you to hear a song, and I played "Flower" by Liz Fair for him. Yeah, and he. Yeah. Freak the Flower? fuck out! Did he? Did he go a shade of red, yes. pale, and what? Yep, he got super young kids embarrassed. Look up the lyrics of the song scared. "Flower." Uh, yes. guys, I'm so proud of the chat right now. They're all throwing in like the yeah. support behind all this. Nice. Yeah, Mark Ballum. Yes, Tori is fantastic. Tori, Tori Amos is my everything growing up in yeah. the 90s that was like something happened about the red hair on a piano mm-hmm. singing from her soul and I was like <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. you're really great well yeah. I mean and you can't even like Jill Sobiel Annie mm-hmm. DeFranco mm-hmm. Uh, these DeFranco, are all yeah. part of the uh, uh, the current that came around Amy Mann this yeah. is exactly. all Sarah the Glock, people that came around Tracy Bonham Tracy Bonham, Tracy yeah. Bonham. Yeah. Yes, Meredith Brooks Mary Kay Hanley of uh, Kay, Kay Hanley of uh, of uh, uh, that one band that I just forgotten Blake uh, used to be in Throwing Muses <laughs> And she went on to Letters to Cleo. Yeah, Thank you, Ken. Cleo. Yes. 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 She's, she's a massive uh, uh, person in the in politics. Kay Headley. Yeah, Kay She Hedley. does yeah, a lot yeah. of I didn't know that. Cha- yeah, she does a lot of charities, a lot of events, fundraisers, things of that nature. She's yeah. very involved Sleater in, uh, in California uh, yeah. in the politics. Should we bring scene. back L7. Lilith Fair? Yeah. L7. 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 L7 is good. Yeah, I'm, fr- I'm friends with Precious. Did anybody, really? anybody, wow. anybody well, mention Kate Nathan. Bush? Kate Bush. Kate Bush. Kate Bush. Is, uh, Eight, more again. 80s. She, she yeah. started to fade out. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah. she brings the possibility of the 90s with what she did in the 80s, Kate right. Bush. I would agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Belly. No, that's a, there's a lot of good 90s music that mm-hmm. you kids out there need to you check out, and you days. are missing out. <laughs> Billie Eilish is great, but there's a lot of cool stuff from back in the Hopping day. Hopping around and skipping and jumping in boxes with your Billie Eilish. <laughs> <laughs> it's, she's so good, though. She is good. She's great. I have no problem She's very, her. very yeah. talented. Yeah. Um, so before we continue talking about music, because I do love music, uh, Alex, our very own Alex, has a plug Ooh. for Street Food Cinema. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, my full-time job. We're doing... Uh, <laughs> your full-time. Christmas, uh, Christmas series at Heritage Square Museum for all the LA folks. If uh, you want to come to that, mm-hmm. uh, we're doing our favorite movies, your favorite uh, holiday movies. We're doing Elf, Home Alone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can check out the website in the description. If you use uh, code Collider Live, you can get fifty percent off your whole order. Nice, nice. That's, That's awesome. Nice. Favorite Chris. Uh, Go, go out. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. sorry. We uh, we go from this Saturday until the Sunday after Christmas. Nice. Cool. Boom. I am down. I do love m- watching movies in public oh with people. Uh, what were you going to ask, Mark? Favorite ask Christmas movie? Favorite Christmas movie that you have to play at least before the holiday. I have two. You have two? Can mm. you guess them? Elf. No. Scrooged. No, but it's great. Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a Halloween movie. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I, 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 I see both okay. arguments. They're actually pretty weird. Uh, Gremlins. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, Grandma's. And Batman Returns, yeah. Cody's oh, right. favorite. I should have. Yeah. yeah. What stupid. about you guys? <laughs> Shut up, Cody. Uh, I don't intentionally watch a lot of Christmas movies, but I do like a lot of Christmas movies. Scrooge, you mentioned Scrooge. Scrooge. Yeah. Great uh, movie. I don't like Elf. Never caught me. Uh, How as dare much you, Ken? It's not that I, I yeah. watched it no, once. I went, that's a. That yeah, was like on my fine. TV. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I kiss, kiss, bang, bang. I yeah. would say maybe. Ooh, um, that's a great one. I don't get it. The Die Hard thing. Let's done. It's done. Stop. Don't. <laughs> don't do that. I completely agree. Um, your, your co-host of the afternoons, Josh McCuga, somewhere just uh, perked to attention. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was That's that? A soundbite happening. What was that, Cody? What was that? It sounded like my stomach. Someone was grunting into the microphone. Oh, oh it was not. that was not a soundbite. Oh, yeah, Alex. Uh, okay. Okay, John. Anyways, what about you? Yeah. Uh, well, it's a wonderful life. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I was on set when they made it. Makes sense with uh, your age. Uh, yeah. 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 I went to the premiere. Uh, and, and this is a weird one, but I always play it just for Christmas. It's become the last few years just Friends, the yes. Ryan Reynolds one. I've never that seen mine. that. Is that's, that's good? A good one. It, it is a fantastically funny a Christmas movie. Okay. 
Okay. Hey, Cody Anna likes Ferris it. steals the movie. She's great. She's I do so love her. funny in that. Playing a Britney Spears type character. Okay. At the time when Britney was like huge and having her meltdowns. Yeah. It is incredibly funny. Ryan Reynolds is hilarious in the film. And Amy Smart, you remember that Amy Smart, there was a time when Amy Smart could have been huge, yeah. right? And so I go back and watch it all the time. The, the family humor is funny. Julie Hagerty from Airplane is in this thing as the mom. Mm. All of it from top to bottom. And Chris Klein, is that right? Mm-hmm. Chris Klein, yeah. yeah. Chris Klein. Right. He is such a massive douche in the film in a perfectly funny way okay. that it it throws away all the worries you'd had about him as an actor. Okay. So the film overall, incredibly funny. Well, I guess I got to check it out, especially if Cody likes it too. Yeah. What it's do really you, good. What about you, Mark? Uh, I'm a Christmas Vacation elf guy. Of course. Okay. They're my favorites. And yeah. then Scrooged as well. I would say that's my top three. And yeah. then we always try. We always do Wonderful Life Yeah. Um, towards the, as we get nearer. But yeah, we have a rotation that we always include. Scrooge, Christmas Vacation, Elf, Wonderful Life, Scrooge Gremlins. So yeah. Gremlins I love. I mean, Gremlins has like the best Santa Claus story theme <laughs> in any movie <laughs> ever. <laughs> have you not seen it, Ken? No, I haven't seen Gremlins. <gasps> you still haven't seen <laughs> none, Gremlins? None of them. I finally saw Ghostbusters. Yeah, I know you saw what Ghostbusters. What do you think about that? Ghostbusters was fine was for it you. Fine? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, that's all the references people have made for 30 years. <laughs> it's just spoiled for you, basically. Yeah, and I mean, Ac- Ackroyd's my favorite SNL guy. Bill Murray's my favorite. Like, don't get me wrong. But just, I was going to say, yeah. I didn't. It just was like, it was so long after right. uh, that it just because it was like, that's great. Do you feel like you're more of a music guy than the movie guy? Yeah. Or? Oh, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I The mm. movies I love, I love. Yeah. I've cried in theaters. Mr. Holland's so pissed. You know what I mean? That's oh, a good movie. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. a great movie. Yeah. Music related. Mm-hmm. Uh, lo- I love movie, movies. I was in film school in the late 90s. I saw everything that came out. I, when the Oscars came, I was like, all right, let's get our sheets, John. Make your uh, Little Women starring Winona Ryder. Pulp um, Fiction didn't win Best yeah. Picture? That was me. And then I just, I just, I just, uh, yeah, I'm not interested in, in movies. Uh, I, I'm going to go see Knives Out tonight, but it's cool. Took me two weeks to finally go see it. I yeah, think you'll yeah. enjoy it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm music before movies. Okay. Well, Cody, Alex, you guys got any good Christmas movies you love? Uh, mine have already mentioned. Just Friends and Elf. Those yeah. are okay. mine. Alex? Alex? I'm not really a Christmas movie guy. I like to watch movies around Christmas. Like Get out, movies, Alex. So like, oh, it's wait, Christmas. are you not into Christmas like me in general? Um, I mean, I'm into it, uh, but I just never really watch Christmas movies. Maybe if it was like, themselves. yo, it's Christmas, the 21st <laughs> day of the year. Yo, you'll bring up. Oh, yeah. He yeah. hates yeah. Hamilton. So. Oh, yeah. Do you like musicals, Ken? No, I just I don't like music. <laughs> but you like I was music, say though. Despise. You almost said despise. despise. But yeah. you like music. How does that make any sense? <clears throat> I want to get some coffee today. Do you want <laughs> get some, some coffee, coffee from today? Have you seen in the coffee cup? He wants some coffee. coffee. Can we get the man some coffee? Go fuck yourself. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but have you seen Book of Mormon? No. It's great. I don't like I think musicals. you would like it. I don't. I get bored. And theater, it's not 1870. We don't need that as a form but, of entertainment. <laughs> but, you, but as a music fan, you have to actually, you, you no, have to at least. I'm a rock, rock fan. Uh, no, me too. <laughs> me not, too. Me too, obviously, as you know. However, you have to at least see how amazing Broadway singers are. Because I that, don't doubt that. Because talented. doing that live is, I think, one of the hardest things to do other than opera and ballet. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 there's super talent on Broadway. I'll wait till they show up and Die Hard is the villain. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, Good enough. Nice reference. And I'm not taking. It's just one of those six. Like I, I, I get my friend George McCann. You remember Georgie? Yeah, in the Georgie. Theater. He gets so mad at me when I'm like, theater. It's not. 1875, and we all need to <laughs> gather in the village to do some theater. Yikes. So you don't. So you're not going to go to Shakespeare play? No, I studied Shakespeare. I was in. I was in theater. I did it all. I just did. did what are you? You doing? just don't want to go do it you, don't or see go it. Do it. It's like a, <laughs> Ken, 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 Ken. What's your favorite podcast? I don't listen to podcasts. I don't either. <laughs> it's like. I don't either. I listen to music. I listen to Spotify. That's, That's the only app that I really like That's spending it. money I, I, on. I and I'll play yeah. MLB The Show. That's what I do. Yeah. 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 Same. Well, okay. did you know Tom, uh, Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks is with you. Not yeah. a fan of musicals. I remember he appeared somewhere on one late night show. Mm. And I think it was around the time he was promoting uh, That Thing You Do because they were saying it's kind of a musical. Yeah. And Great he's like, movie. He's like, no, it's not. He it's, was just like, it's not a musical. They're not, not breaking out in song Agreed. in the middle. And he went into this whole thing, and yeah. I just love Tom But it's Tom a Hanks great music movie. Right? It's, it's a great it's music a, movie. Yeah, yes. But they are not breaking the fourth wall right. to sing to you. It, because that's what musicals are. They sing to you. Right, right. So, uh, and I mean, and uh, within yeah. the story, of and course. And look, but, like, I love the Oneaters. However, I'm going to go see Cats because I just want to laugh at it. But, uh, Cody, can we open up the phone lines for a little bit, please, before we get yeah. into our game? Cody, open them up, Alex. You know, you know what the weirdest thing is? Tom Hanks showing up in that Carly Rae Jepsen mu- uh, music video. What are you talking about? Have you ever seen Tom Hanks? No. He was in that... Um, 
Carly Rae Jepsen. Uh, uh, Call Me Maybe. No, no, yeah, but she had a second song. That's the only one. And I Tom know. Hanks was in it. So, yeah, something kind of like I like that's you, a, or I think yeah. That's, you look, a, that's a great wedding dance song, by the way. Call Me Maybe. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Ken. I really like it. it. He play, she it. he is he is the main that's character good. in this music. Uh, music Tom video. Hanks, America's hey, Ken, uncle. Yeah. Are you getting married? Do you want to get married? What wow! The hell, are holy you shit! Me? This just turned. This oh, turned you got saved by the bell. <laughs> Dorina, what is you are on Collider Live. Yeah, so what is wrong with you? What's Dorina, your name? What Where are you calling you? from? Uh, save Ken. Ask Ken if he's getting married. Oh my god! Oh hey, it's Maddie from Hell Central. How are you guys doing? Hey Maddie. Oh, Maddie. 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 Hell Central. That's where I was born. How's it going? Uh, I wasn't. I'm uh, pretty good. I have a question. It wasn't be a musical question, but I just heard Ken like. Uh, not liking musicals, so I'm kind of doubting it now. <laughs> Ask your question, um, Maddie. Don't don't let this David Harbor light, grumpy a hole change your life. It still fits. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll ask everyone a question, including Alex and Cody in the booth, and I'll get the last one specific for you then. Um, with all these musicals coming out, is there a specific musical that you really like but hasn't haven't seen like adapted into a movie? Like, uh, for me, it would be Assassins. I would love to see that made. It's a good musical cool. to choose, brother. Uh, Which one was you it? Can, would you watch a Star Wars Assassins. musical? Assassins. If they made one. Oh, would I watch a Star Wars musical if they made one? <laughs> I think I probably have to. Yeah. But look, I'll tell you what. There's one movie that's considered a, probably a musical, maybe even a dance movie, and I do like it. It's Moulin Rouge. There you go. Yes. I'll get behind that. Ha yeah. ha, John. But why? That. It's based mostly in rock songs. It's yes. great, though. What it's about great. Rock of Ages? That's a musical mm, rock it's song. Right. It's, no, thank you. It's a bad interpretation, but the show is yeah. good. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for the call, Maddie. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, rock of Ages is... I. I'd rather just listen to the actual songs right. mm -hmm. by the original right, bands, right? right? right. Like, yeah. I, I'm with Ken here. I think Moulin Rouge is one of my favorites, mm -hmm. uh, mostly because of visually it's incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. it's I think the arrangements are cool. I never thought I, I would love a uh, Roxanne version, uh, like a tango version that was beautifully arranged yeah. and, mm -hmm. and the dance scenes was cra was crazy. I love that, yeah. Right. But, uh, but I'm not sure if, uh, like, the, the question was a movie musical that you would like to see. Uh, um, yeah, so, so, so we already seen Phantom, and that was like okay. That was, good. Was that was not as good. Directed by Joel Schumacher, which I discovered. <laughs> but, he did, but he did, yeah. Wow. yeah. Who, did, who did Lost Boys? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking, Mark? Uh, well, Les Mis is my favorite musical of all time, and they did an okay version. Right. It was Russell Crowe that kind of you know blew it yeah. for me. But uh, blow it down though, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Miss bad. Saigon, I think. Uh, could work very well oh, as yeah. a movie musical because that's mm -hmm. another musical I just love. It's it's fantastic. I mean, same same uh, I think Cameron McIntosh yeah. who did Les Mis also right. did Miss Saigon. Uh, Alex, do you have one since you're our musical guru? Um, Cody's got one. Oh, Orlando. yeah, yeah, Book of Mormon. You would like it, Ken. I mean, you you like uh, South Park stuff, right? You like I Team have, America? I, I, I do. No, I haven't watched them since like 1998. But okay. yeah, Team America is technically a musical. South America. South yeah, Park no, is I, a musical. I, yeah, no, I get South it. South Park is a musical. Yeah, I, South Park. I get it. I get it. <laughs> You're just not gonna go see I'm it. Just I get it. Not gonna watch it again. Like, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but my like I like Team. Like if you ask me what are my political stances, is it's Alec Baldwin's speech at the end of Team America. <laughs> <laughs> but like, <laughs> you know. I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah, Alex is chomping at the bit. Go, yeah. Alex. Oh no, yeah, I was gonna say my uh, my choice would be uh, company. 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 Yes, oh. company. that's that's my choice as well, Alex. Yeah. That's the best Sondheim musical this side of Into the Woods. Have you seen uh, Mar you've seen Marriage Story, right? Marriage Story. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, I saw those songs. Q and A with Noah Baumbach after uh, seeing it one of the two times I saw it, and uh, he said that. Um, Adam Driver and him wanted to do a company musical, and oh. since they couldn't do that, they just threw uh, what they did in Marriage wow. Story in there. Oh, wow. interesting. Do you like the Royal wow. Esparza version or the Dean Jones version? I've only seen the Royal Esparza, okay. or, or heard it at least. Okay. I, I was in the pit for uh, production of it for um, at school. Okay, if you have a record player, I will let you borrow my company double album and you can listen to it and see what you think. Ooh, I would love that. Okay. I mean, I would have to go with, um, you know, it, it's funny. I get what Ken is saying. I don't, I'm not a fan of the old school musicals where people are singing like, let me get you that coffee. But uh, the newer musicals that I've gotten to see at the Pantages because my husband loves musicals and we, we get season passes because he's a dork. Mm. Uh, Waitress, I thought was <laughs> oh, yeah. amazing. And I know it's based on a movie, but, yeah. the, but the music is so good she, that I would uh, love to see. Sarah Bareilles. Sarah Bareilles, yes. right. Yeah, so that's 
that's a that's a great one that actually made me cry. Mm-hmm. So I was surprised by that. I'm a Gene Kelly song and dance man, so I I, I love musicals from the beginning to the end. So yeah. I, I'm opposite Ken in that way. Uh, I love watching them. I hope they're good. I've been disappointed with some of the most recent ones. Like Rent was not that good. Into yeah. the Woods. And I love Rent. Rent. They were 10 years too late to do that movie okay. uh, acting wise. Into the Woods I didn't think was a good no. version as well. But when they get it right, it's fun. Like Greatest Showman. It's yeah. fun to go <laughs> and see it over oh, and over and over again. That's funny. That's cute that you think that. Okay. But, anyways, but you know what? My you mom have... would enjoy that conversation with you because yeah. she said, always texts me. Did you watch The Greatest Showman yet? <laughs> I, I just, I don't, I'm not, I don't, I'm sorry. I can't. My yeah, I can't either. Yeah. And, and I grew up with musicals. It. My yeah. mother would take me to every musical. I've seen Cats yeah. at least five times on stage. They didn't Which is okay. Really. And it's, it's fine. Yeah. You know, if you really want a batshit crazy Andrew Lloyd Webber, give me Starlight Express. Right? Yes. That's trains? Yes. Singing. Yeah. Agreed. They're yeah. fucking trains. Yeah. It's and they like, sing. That's where Disney got, or Pixar got the Cars do, idea. Do you know Starlight Express? Yeah. No, I'm familiar with it. Oh. Yeah, oh. It's, it's, it's crazy. You are on Collider it. Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, <clears throat> hey it's Matthew you. Dominguez from San Antonio. What was hey, your name? Matthew. How y'all doing, guys? Oh, how's it going? What do you got for us today? Good, good. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I just want to know. What do y'all? What food? I love it when y'all talk about food. What food do y'all eat for holidays? Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Thank you for the, the question. Like Christmas vacation. They're right in front of the turkey. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Are you high right now? We. You know, we do that for Thanksgiving. <laughs> we are you, Dominguez? Are you high right now? Noodle. Don't lie to me. Are you high right now, Dominguez? What do y'all do? Are you laying on the couch high as hell listening to Collider Live in San Antonio? Oh, you know it, guys. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Called it, bro. Good man. It's Called it, bro. Full 20. If you get the clearing of the of the throat before they answer or talk, mm. they're high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I was wondering, uh, like, what food do you guys like? Good for you. It means you're a peaceful guy. Uh, thank you for the question. Thanks, so what what are you guys thinking? I mean, food is for a For holiday topic. foods? Yeah. Let me tell you about the best Christmas I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Ken perked oh, up. Kick about, the fire. Again. About five years ago, I was still uh, the director of security. hadn't left to go to Screen Junkie Z, and, and oh Christmas boy. Day was my only day off for the holiday season. So uh, I woke up that day. I told all family members, I'm not going to go see you. I uh, put in Red Dead Redemption, the first one. Nice. Went to Carl's Jr., which, God bless it, it's still open. Got That's a double right. Western cheeseburger, oh. large fries, and a large Diet Coke. And Bacon. went back and ate that by myself and played video games for six hours. That is the Christmas I want every year. Have that sounds like a wonderful Christmas. Merry Mark Ellis and Josh Kuga occasionally text me and go, that is the best thing we ever heard. Are, yeah. you, are you in town? Can, can we do that? No, Even I'm, if it's not Christmas? I'm not, I'm not in town. Damn it. Where are you going? Can you say? Arizona. 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 Okay. John, Mark, uh, Cody, Alex? I'm I'm I I always love a good In and Out burger during the holidays. It's just my kind of thing. Sure. But I like the traditional meal. Um, What's it, what it, is a traditional American Christmas meal? For, well, for me, it's turkey stuffing, mashed potatoes, and the mac and cheese. So it's like Thanksgiving. That, but you, that you move your Thanksgiving up to Christmas. No, I have two Thanksgivings. Oh. Yeah, I like okay. the two. Yeah, I like I Thanksgiving. Like the food. Yeah, the food. Give me the food. Christmas um, ham. You don't put that in. I there? don't. I don't like ham for for any oh, meal. I That's fair. Ham. Yeah, I'm not, like a, I'm not a. I'm not a. I like ham and Swiss sandwiches, oh. but. It's but unclean. yeah, my grandmother would always put the ham out, and I was always like, "Son of a bitch, I'm not a big ham guy." Like ham, nice glazed ham. ham. The, good, the glazed hams are, are, are they're, they're claro. delicious. If there is a honey baked ham, the glazed, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I will actually prefer to take that and make a sandwich out of it. Okay. I don't want it just by itself. Okay. So, okay. so um, John, for me, when, when I'm home, mm-hmm. right? The best one was the till my mom got a little older and tired and she couldn't. Mm. We used to do chicharron. We'd have mm-hmm. the chicharron with the maize, which is the uh, corn that's white and it's large. Mm-hmm. And you, the Bolivian, one of the Bolivian restaurants would stay open in DC on Christmas Day because that was the tradition. And you got I the like salteñas. Mm. The salteñas were fantastic. Look that up if you have never salteña. And my mom would make bread at the house, so mm-hmm. you'd have like these panuelos of bread that mm-hmm. would be uh, so. To me, that was the best Christmas food I've ever okay. had, and it's like nostal- I'm nostalgic for it. So, yeah. Well, okay. my personal favorite uh, present to open on Christmas is mm. uh, tamales. Oh, uh, tamales. Uh, that is the best Christmas food. Yeah. I'm sorry, that is the I, there's nothing better that I do not care for Christmas, but tamales yeah. is our, the most delicious thing ever. Are tamales? Um, <laughs> it's actually tamales. 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 It's tamales. Because I love tamales. Yeah. Uh, is does it have any 
kind of tradition, holiday tradition. Uh, it's Christmas. South of the border. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's a Christmas. Thing. I do remember always like at the when I worked with a bunch of people like one guy like Oscar would bring in like my wife made tamales and be right. like this every year this happens it's great so it is I it's, didn't know it there's is kind nothing, of a, it's just so good and it, then yes it's, it's it, definitely it, a Christmas it's a, a thing Christmas where like tradition. every abuelita makes okay. like mm-hmm. dozens and dozens That's grandma. and it, oh yeah good job Ken you. Dorina yeah. you're gonna have to stop by my place uh, after Christmas then because Julie's mom makes a <gasps> hell of a tamale yes, and I she will. brings a bunch fuck yeah and so yeah because my they are. Absolutely, like I they have are no, the best. I have no grandparents left. My both my grandmothers are dead, so I don't oh, get the monsters anymore. So I, I would I'm love sorry. that. So I will uh, give you some. Don't worry, Cody, some. Alex, food, a, Christmas a, food. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, always had uh, classic Filipino food. Mm-hmm. Some pancit, some chicken adobo, oh, nice. some, nice. Nice. some honey baked ham. Look at you. Okay. Well, we got time for one more call, and then we're gonna go yeah. into our game. Uh, yeah. You are on Collider Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, this is Dylan from Vancouver, Canada. How are you guys doing? Hey, hey Dylan. Dylan. How's it going? Uh, you know what? Pretty good. Just at work, and it's super rainy, so I wish it was like better outside. But other than that, it's going pretty good. I'm kind of really nervous right now, just to be honest. But, yeah. yeah. It's okay. We're all welcome, nervous welcome. all the time. You're mm-hmm. fine. What? Ooh. Do you have a question for us? Yeah, totally. So I'm a huge fan of horror movies, but I'm like a newer like fan. Um, like I've gone into them recently in the past couple years. And I really like movies like Hereditary and what? It Comes at Night and the movies yeah. that like are fucking scary but like tell human stories and stuff. Mm. So I feel like I've missed a bunch in the past. Huh. Uh, so I wanted to see since you guys are horror fans, uh, like what you would recommend if I've missed any. Great yeah. question. Yeah. Thank that, you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, for yeah, sure. Thank you for the call. That's an that's a Mark Riley and Dorina Dorina, question. Yeah. Very happy. I to love it. What's your first? Yeah. yeah. What's your first instinct, Mark? I mean, I, I always go to the classics for me that, that got me into it. So Halloween 1978, The Exorcist, uh, Poltergeist, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Those are my favorites. Classics. That, mm-hmm. The classics. And the newer ones, Hereditary you mentioned, which I, I love. The Witch. Right. Um, uh, I love The Witch. Uh, Robert Eggers, yeah. Robert Eggers. Um, what else? I'm trying um, to think. For me, it's interesting. Head. I mean, I feel like if you go to a uh, best mo- uh, horror movies list, you mm-hmm. can find all these classics. But yep. I feel like I was trying to think when we were going through our uh, decade uh, best movies of the decades list Mm -hmm. and I found myself thinking about like what about like the Fright Night remake and like Cabin Mm -hmm. in the Woods there's all these movies that I feel like people don't talk about that are a little bit newer like I think the Cabin in the Woods is one of the best horror movies we've gotten in years yeah Mm -hmm. Cabin in the Woods and it's so underrated Mm -hmm. same with uh, you know uh, Sam Raimi's return back in the day to Drag Me to Hell Drag Me to Hell I think that's that's a that's a movie that nobody can say is bad because it's got amazing horror elements it's got great scares it's got great comedy Mm-hmm. So, so those are kind of the ones that I go for. Sa- same for other underrated films like my favorite Halloween movie, Trick or Treat. Mm-hmm. I love God, that movie I love Trick so or Treat. much. You know what we watched last night by Doherty, who directed Trick or Treat? Yeah. Krampus. Oh yeah, not that bad. Not bad. It, does, yeah. it has a bad it's rap. Right. I really like it's a, it's a Christmas horror movie, and it's batshit crazy so I like that one and I do love Krampus when I discovered Krampus existed I'm like oh this is my type of Christmas mm-hmm. so yeah mm-hmm. uh, Cody Alex John Ken you guys got anything uh, I don't watch any horror movies uh, I've no, seen no. I've seen mm-hmm. Cabin in the Woods it was pitching mm-hmm. me as a comedy and that was a trick but I liked it it's <laughs> funny though it's, it's good. got um, some moments yeah, yeah no, it was good uh, and then uh, what's the Halloween A New Hope is that the one from 77 ha- Halloween <laughs> A New Hope <laughs> yeah. it's actually Halloween Strikes Back yeah oh okay yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. I did see that recently yeah, yeah. and uh, I get I get it you know <laughs> I get well. It was the good. Return of Myers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The rise of Myers. I just, I just, I don't go to. I, oh, I don't like being scared. Mm, I know you don't like. It. That's why you don't it. even like going to like horror nights or. Well, you no. the what's it called the haunted hayride. Yeah, but let's be honest. But <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the scariest. That thing was, was for the, Grace. You did that for Grace. Yeah. Well. This, yeah. Absolutely. She loves horror stuff. Um. Yeah. The the scariest thing was the uh, outhouses that we had to use there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those were scary. That was oh God, scary. they're awful. Like I came out of one Grace was waiting to go in I went nope <laughs> I'm not gonna let you yeah. <laughs> you're not bringing it. that to yeah. house need a yeah. tetanus shot after uh, you use that yeah. but, you know, what are you yeah. gonna say Session 9 is fantastic people don't talk about Session oh, 9 that's session a great nine. horror hmm. The Shining still I think Shining. still is a fantastic The Shining's horror. my favorite horror movie of all time yeah I mean that's that's one you, how you not put mm-hmm. that one on the list I think Recently Ready or Not this year is a fantastic horror film yep like, it's uh, really great Crawl is great as a horror Midsummer, love Crawl, crawl. Midsummer love yes. Crawl Jaws I would throw in that's a horror Jaws? film for God's sakes it is agreed um, so as much as I would like to continue talking yep. about horror, we're actually going to play a little game. 
that Riley what? and I are very excited about. We're going to yeah. guess the film score game. Uh, Cody, Alex, uh, I'm assuming you are there to help us. Uh, Alex maybe can play along uh, or, or not. Is Cody gone? Is he still huh? in the booth? What's going right. on? What's up? Yeah, He's Cody's there. Oh, okay. We That's wouldn't have a show if Cody was wasn't in the say. booth. It did sound like there was a murder that just Yeah, it's, yeah <laughs> I wonder. So what what were you guys doing back there? Did that you cut did you have a cutaway? He just said hi. Yeah. Oh. It just was in the distance. It sounded like a moan. He is far away from the yeah. mic. You're gonna get out. Hello, Hello, Alex. Okay, well, uh, let, please, Cody, let us know when this game is ready. Yeah. It's ready, Darina. It's, oh, it's ready. ready. Okay, okay so, so Mark, how are we going to play this? Well, we'll go around the horn, of course. Uh, your buzzer is your name. If you if you hear it and you know it, you say your name, not what it is. Say your name so we know, and then say it, and we'll play first to five. Wow. Should we just do it that way? We got some time here. Okay. How it do is, you feel about that? I mean, I think it's going to be a little harder than the TV themes. Mm -hmm. It might right? be. Yeah. It might not we'll be. We'll see. I killed the TV theme one. This one, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We'll okay. see. So, How are you uh, feeling, Ken? I could either be really good or real bad. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's Depend such as life. So, that's kind of like life. Yeah. It's kind of like life. So first one to five. Everybody, you can play along. Uh, and uh, why don't we just start it up? Let's Here we do go. it. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Shit. Riley. Sorry about that. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Now. I'm just ready. putting us in a good mood. Here we go. Darina. That is uh, Edward Scissorhands. That is correct. Wow, wow. boy. Goodness. Specifically the ice dance. Yikes. Okay. Yikes. We're, we're, only one point. Right. We're going to get that. We yeah. have, oh, my point. God. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Darina's right, probably going to crush us. Next one. John. The Godfather? No. Oh. I don't know if I know this. I'll skip ahead a little bit. Oh, I know this. I know this. Uh, Ken, far and away. No. I guess that for everyone. <laughs> Damn. I know this. We can't guess once yeah, we've guessed. Yeah, I think you're out. Once you're okay. out, you're out, okay. right? No, I know this. Damn, Damn it. it. It's a great movie. It I is. Know. It is. I don't know. I'm blanking. I'm totally blanking, but it's on the tip of my tongue. No. Jeez, you're gonna beat me up. Five. Four. It's cool. I'm blanking completely. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. We give up. What is it? It was Castaway. Ah. Who wrote that? Can you see who wrote it? Castaway was Zemeckis, so it must be Sylvester. Yeah. Oh well. Well, that sounds like Sylvester. Yeah, that's probably Sylvester. Okay. Next. Riley. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, shit. Uh, you need a name, not a... Yeah. Yeah. He's out. Dun, dun, oh, shit, is not a movie, yeah, Riley. He's out. Yeah, I can't yeah. get it in time. Play it. You're up. Oh, uh, Darina. <sighs> is this Lesser Than Mohican? It is not. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's not. Damn it. It's Keep playing. You're out. A little, little familiar vibes yeah, to that. Yeah, but it's but. that, yeah. yeah. Fuck. This is a classic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ken. Okay. Oh, Battle Los Angeles. No, <laughs> <laughs> great guess though. I'm the last isn't one this, left. Isn't this Hans? I'm the last I know one it. Yeah, I finally it's got Hans, it in my head. It's Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer. Can is I say it? it? Even though I won't get a do, point. Do, do, Roka. Do. Gladiator. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Was it Gladiator? It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah was good job. That, it was. I was Hans, just gonna yeah. say it. Yeah. I trust John was gonna answer it. Yeah, I do. Apparently, the score whores don't need to pay attention. No, you get the point. All right then. So let's go. Good job, John. Thank you. Okay. Next. That's all I really want. Serena. Oh. Toy Story. That is correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Never seen. Yeah, all right. Let me it's not you surprising, Ken. Yeah. Wow. Never Hold seen on. Toy Story. Hold on. I'm good at the game at California Adventure, though. That's an interesting one. Well, Let's yeah, that makes sense. Boys are. Well, I, I always... Never mind. Oh, boy. Here we go. Roka. Braveheart. No. <sighs> good confidence, though. Yeah, it sounded like it. I'll skip ahead here. Oh, shit. Hmm. Darina. I think I'm wrong. Was it Harry Potter? No. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Ken. A League of Their Own. This used to be our playground by Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to guess one last time once we've locked this. I think this. I know what it is, but... I'm just waiting for the hook. I, I want to guess this after it's locked. I won't get the point, but I'll guess I don't it. know. 
I give up. If, Riley, to gives, think. if Riley gives up, I want to guess her. Five. And the video's demonetized. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we I give know. up. Right. What give is up. it, The Last Cody? Samurai? No, it was The Green Mile. Damn. Oh, Green Mile. Okay. God right, damn, Thomas these are Newman. hard. Stand by. They are hard. YouTube That's what playlist, she said. you know, it's going to take a second. Yep, Hold yep. Sing it. Sing it, Alex. Maybe go. play some Liz Fair for Ken. Riley, Spider Man. There you go. Good Damn. job, Mark. Boom. Nice, Mark. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Every score, including the ones I love, like Last Mohican yeah. and Unlawful Entry, all start the same way. <laughs> it's like a it's like a single violin. Yeah, like yeah. and you're like I heard Spider-Man it. Spider Man 2! Okay. Yeah. Here we go. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. Um Tarina. Is this uh, Lawrence of Arabia? Yes, it is. Yes. Wow. wow. Yeah. Shout out. What the hell? Damn, exactly. girl. It's, what, it's the one Jolhe. thing I'm good at. Damn. Yeah, that's correct. I've heard Respect. A lot of uh, Alex, what's the score? Roka with one, Dorina with three, Riley with one, and Ken with zero. Nice. Aww. All right. Here's Dorina, the next Dorina killing this thing. Riley. Dorina. Oh. I heard Riley. I heard Riley. Batman. Good job. Yeah. Batman <laughs> Returns? Fuck you, Cody. <laughs> it was Batman Returns. Oh! oh! I got it. Does he not nice. get it? He said got Batman it. first. He I said, said Batman, Batman and then Batman, Batman Returns. Returns. It was yeah, very right. clear it was Batman yeah, Returns. Right. Right. Please, Please, Cody, obviously. give him the point. Yeah, I'm giving him the point. Him All right. 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 Let's go with this one. Stand this by. What's the score? 2-2-1? 2-3-1. Gotcha. There we go. Lawrence Arabia. This one's a little quiet, sorry. Ken. Uh, Men in Black. No. Oh, that was a good guess. That was a good guess. guess. I thought you were yeah. right. You were trying. Oh. I have no idea. Dorina. Is it X-Men? Nope. Damn it. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. I know this. I'm zooming in on one of you guys. John. Right Roca. Armageddon. No. Damn it. I was zooming in on you, John. Riley. Independence Day. No. Damn it. Is that it? What is, what it? is it? It's Transformers. Oh! oh! That's why I didn't know it, because oh. I blocked it out of my mind. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Damn it. It does sound like Armageddon, though. Okay, next. Hey, please. Right, hold on. Let's I gotta see. load up the video. It's not like all you right, have okay. all of the things to do, Cody. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh shit! Oh, that little trumpet cue. I hate myself right now. I mean, I hate myself all the time. You want to talk about it? <laughs> mm, damn it. I don't know. I know. I don't either. Let's skip ahead a couple. Skip minutes. ahead. Ooh. Ken. <laughs> the Phantom. Nope. <laughs> Good guess, though. Darina. Is this a Rocketeer? Nope. Damn it. Manny in the chat got it. Oh. Don't look at the chat. Though. No, I'm not gonna look. I don't know what this is. I... I'm gonna go Riley. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. That is incorrect. Yeah. What is it? What is uh, it? Star Trek 2009. No, it was Willow. Oh! Willow. Oh! That's what it is. Yikes! Fuck. Damn. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's well good done, one. Manny. You, you are good. All right, mm -hmm. stand by. What is it? Three, three. Two, Alex, three, one. Karina, three. Riley, two. Roko, one. Oh boy. Yeah. Ken's participating. All right, here we go. <laughs> Ken's participating. Like a, like a. Darina. Oh, man. That's Monsters Inc. That is correct. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Look at wow. you in the Pixar. Yeah. Fucking A. I wish I had that skill, man. Yeah. Jeez. It's a good skill. You can't have every skill. That's done. true. That's true. Especially if you go. don't walk into a sex store. <laughs> Riley. Iron Man. Holy shit. Wow. Well done. Well done. Good God. Mm. Okay. Thanks. 
Let's go with this one. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this, is why this is not a good slice for me. Hmm. <laughs> Darina. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Yep. I blanked. You're out. Is it Mulan? Nope. Damn it. No, I know what it is. Oh, I'm so oh, dumb. Oh, God. Why do I, I know the song? Great song. I know. It is. I'm disappointed. Can, let me know when I can guess again. Ken. The Hobbit, there and back nope. again. <laughs> <laughs> nope, but close. Do, do, do. This Chad is got it. Jay Scott for real got it first. Uh, Come I don't on, know. guys. John, Lord of the Rings. Can I no. guess again? Riley, have you done it yet? No, I haven't because I can't pull it. Mm. You're not going to get it. Yeah. It's or... it's Shrek. It is Shrek. Yeah. Shrek. Yeah. I fucked up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Wow. Wow. Well, right. I spoke too soon. Here. What do we got? Uh, four, three, that. one, four. zero. Alex, what's the score? Four, three, one. Three, four, one, three, one. Damn. Thanks, Alex. Y'all get that? Yep. Yeah. Got All it. Right, here we go. Hmm. Fast forward here. Dorina. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's nope. Men in Black. No, wait. No, that's right. Good job. Oh! Yeah. Wow. Is that it? Darina wins. wins. Boom. Mm. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I am. You son of a bitch. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's harder than I thought it would be. Because I was is. like, I'm going in, I know scores and yeah. stuff. And then you're like, well, But damn you know it. what? It's Most hard to us... like catch it in in your mind, like in the movie, like mm. like Shrek. I'm like, I've heard this. I've heard this. Yeah, yeah. I've heard this. Especially in the begin especially the beginning mm -hmm. notes, like Ken said, a lot of them sound the same. Mm -hmm. And also we're used to listening to the really major movie things, yeah, right? Like right. you you like we would guess Star Wars and Superman and all that shit right, immediately. Right, right. But but no, yeah. that was hard but good. It's very hard. Yeah. yeah Every was... score sounds two shades away from Titanic to me. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean James Horner is pretty great. But James Horner. And they also did all... Glory, my one of my fast mm. soundtrack I would probably guess. Love mm. Glory, but so that's why I'm always like yeah. It's tight, so no, good. Definitely but, not. But Titanic. they also copy themselves, right? Like a yeah. lot of stuff that James Horner did or John Williams, like they all they all sound like themselves. James Horner has a lot of that. Ho, 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 yeah, ho. yeah. Like it appears in a lot of his. Or Zimmer uh, rest with in the peace, large James scores. Horner. I know. Yeah. Or yeah. Zimmer with the. Yeah. Or the Inception horn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Let's open up the phone calls for the last fifteen minutes here, Sounds please, right. Cody. Mm. Um, that was way harder than the TV theme song game. Yeah, that was real hard. When uh, you come back, we'll play that game because yeah. that was. I'd fun. probably be better at that one. I want in on that. Probably guess eighteen for everything, but. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> was that that your was favorite? really fun. That's. No, I did. I liked Airwolf. Airwolf. Ah, that's yeah. a good Airwolf one. Airwolf was good. Wait, like the actual? Was that your favorite show or or theme it, song? Oh, show. As a kid, uh, theme song? Oh, come on, Gilligan's Island. Oh, Gilligan's Island. Yeah. Gilligan's Island. That Night was my Rider show. I used to watch like four episodes of Gilligan's Island every day. Uh, that made, you seem summer. like a Gilligan. I love guy. Gilligan's Island, Swat man. Was my, the theme yeah. from SWAT was my favorite. SWAT? SWAT okay. Good show. SWAT's Underrated a great show. theme. Yeah. That theme yeah. was badass. Knight Rider. Knight Rider. pretty great. <laughs> MacGyver. Yeah. Magnum P.I. Okay. So many great yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. Those are good. Uh, Cody, please let, a, let us know when somebody is on the line. Hey, Maybe play, with a meow. Or play or the SWAT theme, Cody, if you can find it. 70 SWAT theme. Yeah, it's not like he's not doing anything right now, John. <laughs> Did you watch Emergency? for a call. I <laughs> Did you watch Emergency as well? Yes. The paramedics. Yes. Lauren, Lauren Green was the fire captain. It's a great show. I used, used to have an emergency oh. helmet. Oh, you wow. are on Collider Live. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Uh, this is Matt Link from Koreatown. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. It's our meme guy. How you doing? Nice. Good. How are you guys doing? Good. Thank you. Matt, what? weren't you in the chat? Aren't you with me? Ham. Yeah. Not on the holidays, right? Uh, that's correct. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much, <laughs> Matt. That is correct. See? And confirmed. What's your question for us today, Matt? <laughs> Uh, you guys brought up uh, Mortal Kombat, and it had me thinking, what is a uh, a video game that you would want to be put into a movie that you've always wanted to see? Like, for me personally, I've always wanted to see, like, a Metroid movie or uh, a Legend of Zelda movie. Yeah. I don't know how they do it since, like, mm. doesn't talk, but still, I'd like to see it since we get to see things we want now these days. Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah, thank you for the question, Matt. What are you guys thinking? The Last of Us. I think that'd be a great movie. Mm. It's because it's a fantastic story for a video game. So I think it would your, your story's there. Right. So you can make a great bit, uh, video game to movie adaptation. Mm. 
John, Ken. Then I'll agree with uh, once. I mean, you guys are all, mm. You're like, oh, sure, that's fine. Yeah. Good, good for you. I oh, thought I would get a you. little bit more from The Last oh, of Us, sure, but sure. I guess okay. not. Hey, well, if you recall, Mark, when we were on Mailbag together, we had this exact same question. Sure and that did. was my answer. That, oh. that was your answer. Oh. So you just stole my answer, Mark. I did. I really stole yours, Cody. Yeah. Because I'm the only one who's ever said that The Last of Us should be a movie. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> right. You were the one that coined it, trademarked it, and I stole it from you. So sorry about that, my friend. Well, I, personal Red Dead Redemption. I was going to say, Red Dead Redemption 2 was my favorite yeah. movie of 2018. Oh, yeah. It's, it is pretty great. I finally yeah. bought it. I mean, I'm going to go classic. I love uh, that Matt said Zelda because mm-hmm. we. I, I used to watch the 90s cartoon, mm-hmm. which oh, was yeah. like, okay, just because it was a cartoon, you know? Yeah. But, right, right. Uh, but I would love that. Also, I would really love to see a good... Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah. <laughs> I think they could do it. I think that's coming. I'd right? like a mm-hmm. documentary on me managing my MLB The Show franchise. Yeah. <laughs> Just a see that. old guy yelling at the screen, why does he want that much money? Yeah. <laughs> my favorite is when you go off on the riffs of you playing MLB and for the season it's and the trades why and everything. Do you ever Twitch and play video games? Yeah, I have, yeah. A, I have a Twitch stream. Twitch.tv slash Oh, mm-hmm. I need to check that out. Though. Mostly it's Battlefront 2. Um, and uh, yeah, I do. I, I used to do about three or four times a week. Now about once a week. Because yeah. schedule, but yeah, I would watch you. I don't. I, I like playing video games more than watching people. But you would be fun. Maybe I'll Thank check you. it out. Thank you. Maybe you know, yeah. we'll see. Thank I'll think about it. Yeah. yeah. Too yeah. many off the Twitch stuff. <laughs> you are on Collider yes. Live. Okay. What's your name? Where you're calling from? I'm calling from uh, Ohio. My name's Prince. Hey, how's it Ohio. going? Ohio. Canal Fulton, Ohio's got a place in there that's got one of the best chocolate sweet shops in America. Mm. Nice. I, I do like sweets. I didn't know that. Sounds yeah. good. I'm, I might have to try it out. Yeah. Uh, I had a question or two. Go for it. I, I wanted to know what Ken Nats thought about uh, Radiohead. I think they're better than the Beatles. Ooh, what the yeah. What if- Radiohead. Let's oh, no. get into it. I am not a Radiohead yeah. fan. I'm also not a Pink Floyd fan, and Oof. that doesn't mean they're not great. Uh, the Benz is had a great album, but that, I like the Benz because like High and Dry and Fake Plastic Trees were more of their radio-friendly single stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't like. I am a three and a half minutes, three chords in the truth kind of radio single guy. Mm-hmm. So I really respect Tom York, Radiohead. They were ahead of uh, not just how to make music, but how to sell music. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just didn't gravitate to seven minute moody songs again like I said I'm not a huge Pink Floyd fan mm. recognize their greatness not a huge Led Zeppelin fan recognize their whoa, greatness whoa, whoa. yeah I, I, okay. I am an All Oasis right. fan I am a I am a semi-sonic fan okay. I'm a, so I'm a song singer so, songwriter fan like you're a melodic guy mel- yes, yes, uh, yes yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you yeah. like melodies like, I, like, I like song and that's structure why the Beatles are my all time favorite band because yeah. of just give me, and, and you two's right behind them. Right. Um, Ryan Adams, before we got into some trouble. Yeah. Um, I, True and Liz Fair, like, I like, give me three and a half minutes, give me your right. truth, give me a, a yeah. hook, and I'm out. I mean, I, I am, uh, music is my passion, as you know. Mm. That's why Ken and I can talk about music forever. We should have our own music podcast. Yeah, but I don't want to do another podcast. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, I get somebody right. else here to do it. I was on uh, Jay Williams' music, uh, Sight and Sound podcast. Oh, yeah, I yeah. talked to, and he, even after I hung up, he's like, I've never heard you that passionate about things. Yeah. I know I've been forced to talk about movies for five exactly. years. Exactly. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. I, as somebody that also loves the Beatles, you know, mm-hmm. my mom is the biggest Beatles fan other than Ken. And John. Um, and yeah. Mance. Yeah. Right. And, and Mance, yeah. I don't have to say but Beatles, yeah. I actually did, Radiohead uh, was my, th- that was for me, Your my jam. Sgt. Pepper's. Like, OK Computer, when it came out in right, the 90s, right. was mm-hmm. the album that I just probably broke right it, it, i listened to it so much i was obsessed with it and i, I think we broke her yeah and i think that uh radio had like crow. good job it's the movie the crow they pay were, attention yeah. i'm t- <laughs> teaching you about music pay attention. <laughs> when people say that radiohead is better than the beatles people and people get pissed off i don't get pissed off anymore because mm-hmm. radiohead to me is the modern beatles in the sense mm-hmm. that they have revolutionized their own music mm-hmm. and they have actually transformed as a band and they keep doing it and also mm-hmm. tom york and johnny greenwood to me are the lennon and mccartney of our time like yeah. they 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 both johnny greenwood not just in film scores but tom york in how he has revolutionized experimental EDM. Mm-hmm. I just saw, got to see him th- th- this year in the pit, thanks to an amazing Collider Live fan. I think they're both geniuses. I, mm-hmm. I, th- I think that they have revolutionized music and every single one of their albums is good and it's very different. Similar to like the Beatles making that change from that transition from the early stuff to Rubber Soul and Revolver mm-hmm. and later on Abbey Road. Like I, I personally think yeah. that they're in the same it's, field now. It's a baton thing and John will back me up. Like I, uh, 
to say anything's better than the Beatles is, is fine, somewhat subjective, but also mm-hmm. people, you can't overlook what the Beatles did to how uh, music is presented. They're the first band to put lyrics on an album. Right. Mm-hmm. John Lennon is credited as uh, the, the, the the skill of like, it's like flanging when you take a, a thing and, and, you, and you squish the mm-hmm. reel. He's credited as like the creator of that stuff, like George, Sir George Martin, uh, all these things and like, they got took it from skiffle music to right. this, yeah. and then uh, other bands come along. That's what passing the baton and, and generations behind mm-hmm. you, and then they take it to the but next. But also, George Martin is technically to me the fifth Beatle because if yeah. it wasn't no, for it was his Murray, Murray the K. But it, <laughs> if it wasn't for his production value, those songs yes. would not be the same. Absolutely. Him adding all the benefit of Mr. Kite, the weird shit that mm-hmm. they do orchestrally, and then in, and where they're like actually took the tape yeah, yeah. and then cut it into pieces and threw it and yeah. then retape it. Well, like yeah, that's insane. That all that stuff, that was him. It wasn't, well, it wasn't just him. It, what he did was op- allow them to do those kinds, allow them to experience. That's really what the big thing was. But he brought the strings course, to yesterday, though. Course, he course. brought all of those orchestral he arrangements. Stu- he definitely brought a lot of stuff, but he also allowed these guys to experiment and play within the, in the studio with all kinds of different noises, different sounds. It was McCarty who was running things backwards. It was Lennon who was like picking things out. They were grab- they're bringing in like uh, uh, pipes, lead pipes, and uh, mattresses and all crazy right. things into the studio to try to make noises, to try to make different. Right. And George was not like arrogant or insecure enough to be okay to let them do whatever they wanted to do, and that's really his gift yeah. overall right. as a as a fifth Beatle. And I agree with you. Like Absolutely. he was a true collaborator, Absolutely. right? I, I think I think Radiohead has more to do with, with the Police than they do with the Beatles, in my opinion. Oh. When you look at yeah. how Stuart Copeland's branched off and done his own scores, right, right. Yeah. when you look at what Sting has done, to me, and the lyrics of Sting writes, I mean, I think, and the, the way he's done, I think that's more. Akin, but I respect what he said. But I, I obviously I don't think anyone's better than the Beatles. But I think they have more to common with the Police than they do with the Beatles, right. in my opinion. Really, I mean, I, like I, and I, I don't think anybody's better. I just, I mm. just appreciate all of these yeah. bands yeah. in yeah. general. I Absolutely. think that they, in in their own generations, they have revolutionized music, Absolutely. and they're every, both grand, uh, groundbreaking yeah. bands. Yes. Yeah, good. It's it, it's a thing that keeps moving. And every you're you're gonna listen to a Beatles song from '62 and be like, well, I mean, that doesn't say because it's of its time. You okay. can right. you can right. be only right. so far ahead. Uh, Star Wars: A New Hope was of its it's time because look at the hairstyles look at the the way mm-hmm. you know there's only one female character like it's yeah. of its time yes. it just is also ahead of its time and then right. that you can never escape that. of course okay and yeah and yet let's i guess we have time for one more call cody there no, you no go mas. no no mas. uh bueno you are on collider live what's your name where are you calling from hey my name is chris i'm from uh, walnut california hey chris hey, how's chris. it going what do you got for us today i had a question so um i love what you guys are doing with the show it's uh really become one of my favorite things in the morning but uh, no spoilers for the live event Mm. um i was there it was my second live event and it was awesome um me and my girlfriend we came there a little later when it when it started and uh i don't usually get that starstruck but i saw the supposed uh you know the secret manager uh and me and my girlfriend um happened to be seating next to him and the crusher and I was so starstruck to the point where I, I just didn't acknowledge them, and I was like, kind of like, I, I don't want to bother them at all. And mm-hmm. I was wondering, would it be, like, how would you guys feel if, you know, if I were to say hi, you know, like, just, you know, say, like, I, I just felt really bad for not acknowledging them, even though, like, I'm a massive fan. I just didn't want to bother them at the van and all that stuff. Well, always say hi. If you if you're asking like what you should do if you see like. The secret manager yeah. and uh, th- th- who I believe is the coolest guy. So I would say, uh, say hi. And so somebody, somebody hit me up on Twitter and said they sat next to me during Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom and didn't want to bother me yeah. for some reason. Mm. And I was like, dude, just say yeah. hi. I'm just watching a dinosaur movie with you. Let's do, <laughs> let's do this. Yeah, it's also different if you just say, you know, shake someone's hand and introduce yourself and say hi, as opposed to like if you know have a try to have a 30 minute conversation with them. Right, so. right, right. So yeah, if you just say hi, I think that's great. Well, I think saying hi is it's part of what we're here for, not the yeah. adulation, but the connection. The uh, thank you. When we go to these, exactly. <laughs> when we go to these <laughs> events, uh, it is it's it's quite frankly work, but it's it's we get there and we connect with the people, and and you 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 are all out in front of your keyboards and finally getting to talk to us, and it means a lot to us. Uh, what Darina said, there's some truth to. Um, you know, I always tell the story in Orlando 2017. I was uh, was in the bathroom dealing with some con pizza, mm. and um, <laughs> yep, yep. someone was like waiting for me outside of the stall, 
Like, at least they gave me the moment, but it's like, maybe back out a little bit yeah, yeah, and just yeah. give me, I am a human being. Who, mm-hmm. Were they knocking mm-hmm. at your No, 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 and it's fine, it's fine. So I think there's a fun, like, but same with us, like, I like, we don't, I don't, cons- the, it's, it's silly, and I think mm-hmm. John and Mark and Adrena would agree, like, we're, we're just people, and um, mm-hmm. I, I generally don't get starstruck too much, you know, and I've been around, like, Britney Spears and Paris Hilton, and, mm-hmm. and I've, I've, done executive production for some of those people and everything and you're just like they're folks but they're those people that you run into like if I if Liz Fair walked in here now jokes aside I'd, be, I'd just be like uh, I, I don't I wouldn't say I was around the musician E of the band Eels right and he was friends like my, my friend was like do you want to meet mm-hmm. Mark and I was like no, I've cried to his music. I can't meet mm-hmm. him. Right. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Uh, I can't break that bond. I can't break right. that wall. Respect that. Um, well, and they, I cried to John and, and uh, was scared to talk to the outlaw in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, everybody's scared to talk to the outlaw before yeah. an event. Before an because event. Because you don't you want to bother him. Yeah, no, don't come near me before an event. Yeah, no. After an event. Let's, uh, let's hang ass. out. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Let's yeah. hang out. No, I always say hi. I think the hardest thing in the world is the fact that all of us pinch ourselves that we're doing this thing and that people actually yeah. want to listen to what madness comes out of our mouths Correct. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We do in the in the movie trivia competition is like, well, yeah, great, fine, but always come up and say hi because it's always nice to hear how people um, how you affect people yes. and how they take like one of the most greatest things is when people walk up and there's like you don't know how much you inspired me or you don't know how much you, you know, like it means that what you're doing and like all of that is like humbling for all of us mm-hmm. and to hear and because. All of us, as Dorina said earlier, all of us kind of secretly hate ourselves, and so it's like in small moments at 3 a.m. Uh, where you know you never know what you say to us in a moment of pure like joy or appreciation that we'll remember uh, in a certain time when we're feeling down on ourselves, and that'll help us like feel better. So mm-hmm. I always say, take the chance to say hi. You know, always. Yeah, I agree, and we're all uh, as, we're just as insecure as everyone out mm. there. We all have our issues, so it's very nice. Exactly what Ken said. Mm. The human connection is what we're all yeah. stuck here with each other, so we might as well be nice to each other. Yeah. And saying hi and a little kindness goes a long way. So uh, that is all the time we have oh. today. Uh, I want to thank Cody and Alex in the booth. Mr. Ken Napsog, watch him later on Jedi Council. Yeah. John Roca, Mark Riley. Thanks to all of you for watching. We will be back tomorrow with the great Perry Nemiroff. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Finish him!